Welcome to Divide and Conquer. This is the third episode of the RD and D podcast. Um, the campaign is a homebrew campaign called Holy Thunder, which is using fifth edition rules in the Pathfinder world with Gargarian Gygax gods. Gary Gygax. Gods? Gary Gygax gods. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so welcome. Um, we are gonna be missing. Leah, our bounty hunter sorceress today, and uh, KB or Ed is going to be late, um, so he should be here like ten twenty, I assume. Thing on traffic. Um, whoa. whoa, whoa, Colton, what are you doing? Twitch oh, advertisements. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but I have that Twitch Prime stuff, you know. Oh. I'm cheap, so. I'm cheap. <laughs> I have. Oh, if you guys uh, uh, get Twitch Prime, uh, subscribe to us because it's free for you, and then we get whenever like, we get whenever, whenever we, we get, get no no we're, we're we're sponsors now. Um, uh, we're a big we're a big deal. Yeah right. <laughs> we're definitely um, not. Part no, of no, no 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 no. Oh, we have five subscribers. We're we're a big deal. We have eighteen. <laughs> we have uh eighteen followers. followers, which is the exact same thing. I think it's nineteen. Uh yeah, I think my mom wants it to us. What do you say? Oh, my mom wants it to us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. She loves me. <laughs> it hasn't seen a single episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hasn't seen a single episode. A single episode. It's probably for the um, best. Yeah, so uh, every Monday we have our Come Roll With Us. We're going to re-level up, just chit-chat, talk, hang out. Every Wednesday we have our recap session, and we ask the DM a whole bunch of questions. Uh, we would like for people to come over and you know talk about the character, what they experience, what, you know, all that fun stuff. And on Fridays, obviously, it's the game. Every single episode will be edited and posted on YouTube uh, at a Dream Production Film. Um, whoa. What are you doing? Oh, I'm fixing oh. the camera, Jesus. Okay. Well, why would you do that? Um, why would you be so professional as to fix the camera for us? Because I'm a professionalist. Yes. Uh, no, they're they're going to be posted at 5 p.m. Uh, at a Dream Production Film's YouTube channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, that one. That, Dream um, Production. Yeah, pr- don't forget to put film because there's another... Company in India that has money uh, for my company. Are you grabbing the minis? Could you yeah, grab, grab your minis. Okay. Um, does anyone have any special little things to say before? And no. smidge. Words. No. Can you grab smidges? You okay. gotta grab smidges. Smidges was a movie. Smidges the cat. Smidges the gato. I don't know why it's sticking. Um, I know why it's sticking. Why uh, am I like, like uh, everything uh, feels like it's even? There we go. There we go. Oh, your, your special pillow? No, like I feel like the table is just like. The table itself is uneven? <laughs> oh, yeah. you're right. I, I, oh, man. Hold on. No, like, normally this doesn't feel like it's there, and normally this feels like it's over. I, I don't know. Something's wrong. Something's wrong, guys. You're too much this way, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out later, guys. Uh, we'll figure it out live. Yeah. That make OCD part of me is going to be like, ah, everything's fine. So, uh, I have three little things to say, uh, unless anyone's going to say anything before we, we start the game. We're good. Uh, okay. Uh, so actually, we were all invited to go to um, a live band performance. It's gonna be posted on Facebook at Black Magic Studio. If you guys would like to come it's tomorrow, seven thirty, uh, I'll post some of that information on my medias that you guys obviously don't know about. Um, but yeah, there's it's gonna be a free concert for the band that I used to play with. Uh, they're just doing a live show at the studio, and they're just having a YouTube party. I mean, a uh, Facebook party. A YouTube party. A YouTube party. YouTube it's party. a Facebook party. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the, I'll try to find information on that and post it if I can. Uh, metal? It's metal. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. Um, hopefully they they don't have vocalists and I can scream for them for a little bit. Uh, okay. So second announcement. Um, so we're gonna give a shout out again to our lovely friends. Who, uh, Colton, you have their information, right? Ah. I don't want to speak, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Metallic Dice Game D M D G. Here's a little. Here's a little, little bit of information. I don't know if it's kind of catch on camera, but yeah, they, they made some very sweet dice that we got at South by Southwest. Um, yeah, like everyone got some pretty, pretty clear dice. Uh, just giving them a shout out. They're super friendly and cool and just swell guys. Uh, and then they There's do. So here, I got you, Colton. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 o
And then the, the last shout out we wanted to give out was uh, so I ordered a special mini for the game uh, at um, where are you? And they sent me this little thing that I'm going to read out loud because they were super nice about it. They also gave uh, me a little elven wizard and a little dead halfling. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's cut in half. <laughs> it's a half lane. Half lane. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Minus 20 XP. We all know that exact <laughs> So yeah, um, it, it's just, you know, thank you for, uh, it, they're a small company, uh, Dark Sword Miniatures, you know, just giving them a little guys a shout out because, you know, they gave us some free stuff and they actually have a huge selection of all that stuff, especially if you like. Lord of the Rings and like Game of Thrones, they have like actual replicas. That elf that I sent you on Facebook, that was you know them. Um, they have little, yeah, it, they're pretty cool. They also have like a whole giant section of just people that have like anthropomorphic little frogs and blind dogs and critters with armor and stuff. It's pretty sweet because uh, I like critters. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, usually this is a part where I roll out a die and then you know we recap depending, but uh. <laughs> Few young ladies weren't here. Uh, so Colton's recap. So Colton <laughs> or I will recap. Um, uh, let, Colton, what did, what, what do you remember from last time? What is that? What does Elrond remember from mm. from uh, you know a couple hours ago? I remember talking to a dwarven man, noble, and we decided we were going. He didn't really believe us that there was a, an evil shaman and monkey men. He did, really didn't believe the monkey man part. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, we set out to find evidence of them. So we decided we were going to walk around the mountain. Got hit by some rocks because we weren't very smart and walked through an uh, area where their doors were mining. And stumbled upon an owl bear cave nest pit. Yes. Yeah. You technically stumbled upon it when you went up, and then when you went yeah, down. Yeah, and then when we got back down, there was nothing at the mountain, and we, yeah, we didn't have climbing gear, so we had to go back down, which was a complete waste of time. Yeah. But, the owl bears, yeah. Uh, so we, I almost died. Yeah, you did. That, yeah. One KV H, almost one died. Yep, yeah, oh, KV no. almost died. Oh, KV? Oh, yeah. He, uh, I think he took 19 points of damage in the first <laughs> round. <laughs> oh, yeah, you told me about he that. He actually oh, has man. three giant, well, I'll... Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it was bad, but we killed it, so that's all that matters. And we found two baby owl bears inside of the cave. That's true. And they were adorable, so I stole some of Peach's quail to feed them, and now they are our pets. So we have two pet owl bears, and they're freaking adorable. I can't wait to see <laughs> these owl bears that you have enslaved. Uh. Because <laughs> you have enslaved. I need um. to name them. Yeah, name them. Yeah, yeah. Owlbear and Owlbear 1. Owlbear <laughs> <laughs> That's right. creative. So I'm going to fill in a couple little uh, blanks. As a, Maybe I have to just have it on like flippy mode. Flippy flip mode? Yeah, this thing. Because it's like... Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, they actually started off with the midst of the battle where you kicked down the door for where the dwarves keep right. the, all the prisoners. Uh, and there was two lizard folk with javelins hiding behind a pillar. And then the two monkey men holding the crazed elf, uh, as one of the monkey men was summoning a what appeared to be a larger fire elemental, and then the crazed gnome mentioned that he was doing the incantation wrong and hit his arm, and then the spell withered down to a, a small fire elemental. Was really last week? Uh, Seems like it was so much longer ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was last week, the day before town fight. Yeah, it's probably because of. I, I don't fight. remember any of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, it feels like it was eons ago. The <laughs> you guys fought bravely against the, the fire elemental, the monkey man that was uh, fighting with his fist, both the lizard folk, and killed them. But the monkey man escaped, and forged a whole bunch of rocks that you later discovered that was magical means just combined rocks together uh, for their escape. Uh, in the midst of this, uh, it's literally seconds that you guys killed off and you know, were uh, wounded. Before that happened, actually, you got knocked out. And as soon as that happened, the same round, uh, Fair Fira stabbed the sh sh living S word out of that lizard folk and kept repeating the seven for the next couple of rounds. Uh, Colton did bring you back. But um, you have temporary uh, concussion. Yes. 
Okay. Which is not going to affect your character at all. It's just roleplay purposes. Okay, cool. Um, you know, forget who KB is. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, they don't, I don't remember him anyway. So. They, uh, they actually took... They were going to take the halfling to the infirmary. Uh, and the elf protested that she will not leave the halfling site. So obviously they, they didn't budge and you guys went there. Um, so that's where we pause with them. And then we're going to continue. We're going to go back in time a little bit and then mm -hmm. RP with you guys a little bit and then go okay. to them. Okay. Uh, so we're going to switch time a little bit here. <laughs> go, but the uh, dwarf uh, found out that uh, there was a military axe in one of their possessions uh, and said that they would pardon <coughs> the thief if you guys investigated what happened in the mountains as to not give more suspicion to the dwarves since they were just attacked by lizard folk the previous night. So, you guys set off on your mission, as everything that you said happened, uh, with your new fire elemental in its little... You need to change the title. I did change it. Uh, Shambar says you did not. I, I, I save. was changing it. I did <laughs> change it. It says Eps 3, and remember I said, hey, why is it not saving? There's no button to save, and you said, hey, that's how it normally is. I'm like, okay. Uh, I, I did. I think you hit enter to save it. I did, and I went out the box. And oh, we can, we can, <laughs> we can look at this. As right we were now. playing D and D, it says episode three right there. Okay, Shamba, are you lying to us? It doesn't say it on mine though. Uh, that is weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, Jesus doesn't understand technology. Yeah, that's one hundred percent true. Nick's in the chat, so Nick can Nick, figure it out. Nick, come here and fix it. Just come over. I mean, we couldn't even figure like out how to get away. the sub thing to work. Oh, God, yeah, I know. It's whatever. Okay, we'll figure that out, too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> continue on. So, uh, you guys uh, went, you um, uh, were not aware that there was some dwarven mining and then, you know, a couple rocks fell on you guys. Not a big deal, but did slow you guys down. Um, you passed some very quiet parts of the woods, and then when you came back, you noticed that, that quiet parts was actually Albert territory, and uh, unfortunately, you were mauled by uh, one. Uh, within the first round, KB almost died and has four giant scratch marks through his entire armor right now. Mm -hmm. His armor is still working, but is cosmetically full. Um, you decided to go into the Albear Cave, and there's two little cubs, and with a lot of persuasion and a lot of meat, uh, you guys convinced him to follow you. Uh, and uh, right before, and that's where we're going to start with you guys. But before we start with them, we're gonna go back in time and go with you guys first. Okay, so this is going on while that all that is going on. Yeah, you, we're okay. gonna we're gonna do what you guys did while they were out in their adventure. So this is still the same night that we played last time. No, uh -huh. Shambler, they are not here. They went. Well, one of them's not gonna be here at all, which is Leah, and then uh, KB is gonna be a little bit late. Yes. Yeah. Uh, work. Yeah, you because know, we don't get paid to do this. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> there. Uh, can you flip this over, please? Oh jeez, hold on. Sure, let's change the world all for you, Jesus. Uh, oh jeez, there you. we go. Thank you. Oh look, it's yeah. circles. I thought there was zits. Oh this. <laughs> yeah, there's zits. You guys are gonna find out how much is zits. Yo. Yes. Yes. I love Doctor Pimple Popper. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, yes. yeah. I watch it she at night. She's a doctor that Fantastic. does that, and that's really and she gross. she just pops zits. That's I lay in bed and How I just watch it. How do you not throw up? You get like... It's the best nauseous. thing ever. I literally just lay in bed and watch her take needles to people's zits and dig stuff out. Minus 50 XP, minus 50 XP. Um, <laughs> we'll continue you on. Me, we're, we're so attacked tonight. <laughs> okay, so, uh, can you put a halfling in one of these beds? Pick whichever bed you want to be in. Choose the best. And this then, one's bigger. Um, it's more comfortable. Uh, <laughs> Leah. That's Leah. Uh, put your character there as well. Gotta cheat out to the camera. Alright, put, put, uh, put the nerd stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have my cat out. Pudges. Not Pudges, that's a smidge. That's my Monster Hunter cat. She was a female dwarf. It's the only female miniature that I got in Star Wars. She's tall AF. Uh, She's taller than me, and I'm an elf. That's a dwarf? It's the only female miniature that I found, and I don't want to dig through my gigantic boxes full of stuff to get a mini. I can find it. That's fine. It's fine. No, it's no, fine. No, just no, giving no. you a hard time. Okay. No, 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 Everything's no, fine. No, no. no. <laughs> the cat. No, no, no. Smidge the cat. No, no. no. You guys want a female dwarf? I'll, I'll, I'll uh, find he will a find a female dwarf, dwarf for us. Here he guys. comes. He will. Um, Here he goes. He will. I don't know what the uh, he's not gonna find a female dwarf. It's fine. 
Guys, wait. She says, we accept the fact that no, you no, don't no, no, have no, a female no, dwarf. No, no, that no. is fine. No, no, Just no. use a male dwarf. What's no, the no. difference? Uh, Except the beard. Oh, my goodness. What's the difference? What if she has one? Leave her alone. Oh, then she's beautiful. Why do you hate our dwarfs? Female dwarf. Oh, it, it, <laughs> it took you five seconds to find one. Uh, Get that a crap out of here. There we go. Look, now we have a female dwarf that looks like he's about to hit me. <laughs> she looks like she's about to <laughs> She is. Yeah, that's that's, that's more intimidating than a... Knock me out. Okay, so they're bringing you to the infirmary. They they <laughs> don't let you walk. They have a little, like, uh, you know, uh, the, the plank. And you think everything's weird. For uh, a bit, you actually um, uh, more or less confused. Not scared's not the right word, but just, like, uneasy. Because you don't really know what's happening small visions here and there of the fight that you were just in, what happened, uh, you know, yesterday, the, the thundering sonic sound that started attacking the, uh, the festival. Um, all memories of her are still there, though. So, like, just talking to her is piecing things together slowly and slowly and slowly. Um, so they take you to an infirmary, and there's, you know, a couple of dwarves that are there. Uh, so the giant carpet going, giant carpet <laughs> going to two desks. Uh, these are probably where the nurses' stations are. Uh, the entrance and a whole bunch of beds. Okay. And um, this is pretty uniform throughout, so this is like the infirmary room, and it's actually quite big. Uh, yeah, a lot bigger than you would probably expect when you go in there. So the female dwarf goes over to you. Um, she looks like her eyes are drooping. She just comes over and yawns. You can smell coffee in her breath. Um, just exhausted. There's her uh, apron that she has on has blood on the side and it's just like dirty. Um, her hands are very clean though. That's one of the things that you definitely do see. Oh, um, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared for a second. That's, that's, Ready to get a staff yeah. infection? You actually do see that she has a ring on and um, every so on she like moves her ring a little bit and like you see a tiny little like spark go through her hands and like just if there's any dirt it just wipes it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Good yeah. high tech here. Uh, I mean, Low tech magic. That's high tech fantasy, right? Um, <laughs> Would that be really like rare or anything? No, no, okay. it's, just so it's not rare. Role play, okay. just common item that you can. Just a common yeah, item. Okay, yeah. not interesting yeah. then. Ex yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so she like, um, <laughs> she does a whole bunch of exams. Just like makes you look through a little like pen of uh, well, like a stick. It's a little wand of light. Asks you questions, and you're always answering correctly, and your reflexes are perfect. And there's you, you were healed I'm all by like magical <laughs> means. Yeah. So it's just. <laughs> You're not sure, you know who you are, you know who she is, you're not sure who everyone is, but you have all their images in your head. Um, you have an image of a, a very muscular, um, uh, annoying human that keeps like haunting you in the back though. Uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, well, um, you, you look fine. Uh, were you healed in battle? Mm -hmm. uh, well, whoever healed you did a great job. Um, you, you did a good job, you're, you're fine. Um, Did you heal me? No, I think it was the other elf. The one with the pretty mm. eyes. All I saw was pointy ears. I thought it was you. No, I, I was like, I feel like that's not something you can get. And then, I would uh, if I had the means, believe me. You do see that some dwarves over here, and I'm being honest, like literally behind you. Uh, they were there the whole time, they just didn't have the little You just didn't notice them? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, um, you specifically, you're just like, and just like things moving fast, and then the entire everything in your bag of holding just falls to the ground. Can I smack someone? Just uh, I mean, they're right behind <laughs> yeah. you. Okay. So and then you see like oh a dwarven gosh. guard with his um. Uh, oh, uh, before we leave on our break, I'm, uh, Colton, I need to give you all the military ranks. I have them all drawn out for you. Oh, sweet. Um, so you know everyone's rank throughout the game because they're going to be uniform throughout different countries and races and whatnot. Um, just you know, just normal guard uniform with the. Same axe that you found, same shield that... Did you take the shield? No, you just took the axe, No, right? I just took the axe. Yeah. I took a... I have a list of everything I took. I took... Oh, dang. Where'd it go? Okay. I, I got rose in a glass, random letters, and a battle axe. Okay. He... Uh, and that's the thing that's the most, like... Is a battle axe that just falls on the... Uh, on the little tiles that... Uh, in that room. He looks at it like... That has the crown in there. Hey, is this yours? And I'm just gonna turn around and it starts looking at the letters like turn around and face him. No, I found them on I found them on the body of one of your fallen. I was bringing it back to you. Oh, thank you. I actually knew him. I'll, Absolutely. Uh, I'll make sure that his his wife gets it. 
I'm just gonna like take take his hand and like do my best to make it look like I care. I'm very sorry for your loss. He looks up at you like. Thank you. But my eyes are like dead. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looks over at like the half thing, like, oh, I'm sure your kids are going through some things ourselves. We uh, are tough I'll, time. Huh? Some, it's a very tough time. Uh, as you have a baguette. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> why, but you're random key, like pulling like a baguette out of your like mm-hmm. your quiver, and then as soon as you realize there's more in there, just keep pulling <laughs> them out, keep pulling them out. <laughs> I'm slowly holding his hand. I'm just like, thank you for your understanding. It really is. In fact, we could honestly use some privacy. Oh. I appreciate you. Of course, of course. I'm gonna uh, like release his hand awkwardly <laughs> and just like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he taps on the guards like, oh, let's let's go. Um, he picks up all the stuff and then they're making their way out. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, did he take the rose also? Yeah, he took the rose. Okay. Yeah. He took he took everything. Okay. Um, Good to know. So this as. <laughs> found. <laughs> <laughs> as the the two dwarven guards leave. Uh, you Did he see... take the axe too? Yeah, he took the axe. Oh, luck. Yeah, he took everything. Oh. Okay. Is Rich yeah. still muted in our chats? No, I un- I unmuted him. He's in our. He's in there. He's not gonna talk. It's a matter of pride right now, Linda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't mod you, Rich, because I know you would just go mod crazy. As as these guys are leaving, I think you'd um, be a great mod. You see that the the. <laughs> I think it's nice. Um, he fell off bed. He rolled over to the corner. No, um, he got hit by a stick. <laughs> yes. Roll me, actually, uh, perception, both of you guys. Hello, dice. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't scary at all. No. That's actually really good. 25. 17. Okay, okay. all right, cool. Yeah, real fast. Um, all right, so as uh, he's coming in, um, the, it's a dwarf, uh, which you, you would remember him. Uh, you probably are having a mix, like, He's coming in and out of who he is. You 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 think he's important just because of his cloak that he has on. Uh, so he has a whole bunch of royal blues all around him and very sophisticated fancy clothing. The back of his uh, cape has embroidered with gold, so like actual gold in, embroidered into his uh, cloak. He has four thick uh, pieces of his beard that are, uh, each one is braided and they all braid back into one giant one in the middle. He has a big emblem here of a star. Uh, and the thing that you notice is that he has a little vial, like a green vial, like in him. As he's walking in, he looks at you and he's very surprised, like, oh. Puts it back. And he walks over. <laughs> looks at the nurse, like, uh, so what's, what's the status? What's the report? And she just like, oh, she's fine. Hey, everything's good. Okay, just follow proper protocol. I, I have to go deal with someone else. Uh, we found an axe on them. Okay, speedy recovery. Uh, gotta go. Um, and then as when he comes closer to you guys, he reeks of tobacco. He has these pearly whites, and he just like smells of tobacco. He smells of alcohol. He just looks exhausted and confused. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Yeah, he's saying it. Oh, to her. Oh, yeah, like uh, whisper. You whispered it to me. Yeah. Uh, I honestly, uh, you didn't hear it. Okay. I honestly don't know, but there's no way he's going to be your caretaker. What would smelling like that? <laughs> And then he, he just leaves. Okay. I thought it smelled woodsy. Mm-hmm. Do I know what um what kind of vial that was that he had? Uh, do you have knowledge of Arcana? Arcana? Nah. Okay, then no, you would not. Uh, give me okay, hand. knowledge of nature is tobacco. <laughs> his tobacco. Sure, <laughs> knowledge of nature is tobacco. Yeah, if you want to. I mean, that's a thing that happens. She goes like, you know, okay, um, have you guys had dinner yet? Did you just say dinner? Yes, um, it's, oh my god. I don't know if you guys have <laughs> eaten <laughs> anything since. Mm-hmm. No, we haven't eaten. Okay. We're starving. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you guys get some, some, I, I think we have elvish tea. Uh, I'll get some for you. Um, Thank you for your hospitality. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. She butters something about coffee under her mm-hmm. breath. Mm-hmm. Because... <laughs> And I look at her, because tea is dinner. <laughs> I mean, you elves eat, like, really weird things, so. That is true. What was your name again, miss? Did she say that? Yeah, she said, Alec, what's your name again? As Chris just said that in front of her. What, what did you say? <laughs> what did I say? What did you say? Oh, <laughs> 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 talking crap. 
up about the team. He's like, I, I don't care that she's uh, there. <laughs> I get that too. Oh, no. no. <laughs> she poisons it. <laughs> now tell me who's bread. Oh. You want some bread? <laughs> she hands her the bread. No, it just joking. Uh, she does. She like, oh, okay. Um, I kind of yes, just smile. Obvi <laughs> yes, obviously you did severe some head trauma. <laughs> um, okay, Miss Miss Natalie. Um, fantastic. Fine. I'll I'll get some food for you guys and uh, I. I'll be back in a second. I and have no idea where we are. <laughs> thank <laughs> thank you very much, ma'am. Is she gone now? Uh yeah, she's okay. she, she's gone. Did okay. come back with some food in a bit. Uh, We're at the infirmary. Yes, yes, you guys are. I figured uh, that much. Then why do? You, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys gonna do anything specific while you're in there? We're in there. Um, is let me see. We're just like. There's other two, three other doors? Yeah, there's three other doors that are injured. Uh, they're probably just sleeping because of how late it is right now. Um, mm -hmm. Are uh, there belongings around here? Belongings? <laughs> yeah, sounds like there are belongings anywhere <laughs> around <laughs> here. Baloney around here. <laughs> baloney? I heard oh baloney, but I wanted to make said baloney. No, are there belongings? Like, can I see, like, their like their satchels or anything? Uh, roll me perception. See if there's anything in there. There's one Ooh. again? Uh, 25. <laughs> Roll me percentiles. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. Carice is just gonna be stealing <laughs> everything <laughs> after she got caught. Are you, are you sure you want to go the path of the assassin or the path of the thief? I'm just looking right now. Okay. Jeez. Uh, 53. Um. Yeah. Uh, the, the the two the blue guy and the the blue the dwarf in the blue shirt and the dwarf in the green shirt both have a little uh, pouch on their table side. It's just a pouch? It's just a small little pouch. It's like, uh, okay. smaller than this. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over there and just see what's in there. They're asleep, right? Uh, yeah, so far they're asleep. You wanna roll me stealth, or are you gonna, mm. or are you just gonna walk? He, uh, well actually, let's, let's, let me, let, let me see. Uh, <laughs> give me a D3. Yeah, all three of them are asleep. All three of them are asleep? Yep. Mm -hmm. they're, okay. They're snoring pretty loudly too gonna walk just walk over and just just see what's inside just see okay i'm just petting the cat oh no okay um they all roll with disadvantage by the way uh -huh. i want that to be very clear okay okay what uh okay so what do you do i just want to see what's inside okay uh you go to the first one and when you look inside it's just uh there's there's gonna be silver in both of them but other than silver, the one on the left has a um, little torn paper, and the one on the right, uh, it looks like it has a ring in there. As the dwarf in blue opens his eyes. Oh. Uh -huh. What do you do? I'm just going to immediately just put my hand to his hand to his, fore his forehead desk and ask, how are you feeling? And like grab his wrist and check his pulse. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Very cold hands. Um, Thank you. Uh, God, now I'm awake. <laughs> um, fine, I guess. My, my foot's still broken, but that's... You started shaking in your sleep. I'm just checking your vitals. Okay. <laughs> I'm Can you let go? <laughs> and I hope that for a few seconds I just make eye contact. Everything's fine. And then I just go back to Telly. And I just stand right next to her. You hear some dwarven mutter and <laughs> looks around, looks at himself. <laughs> All right, um, you do hear heavy footsteps in the outside the corridors, just like running and um, coughing and grunting a lot. As uh, it comes in here is, well, first bur bursts, busts in, bursts in, first in. What, she's gonna eat? Oh, there she is. So uh, she comes in with a tray. This is about like 20 minutes that have passed by. Okay, she comes minutes. in with a tray, but like quickly just throws it on the floor. You see that the tea falls over, like mixes in with whatever pudding that was in there and uh, there was a apparently some nice salad and some meats. Uh, can you stand there, please? Mm -hmm. Can someone help me? Okay, um, so she just kind of like throws the food to the ground um, and like holds the door, the door open as a bunch of more dwarves come in and they're all injured. Uh, Ash, did any of you guys have, have a herbalism kit or no? Um, uh, mm -hmm. What would be the <coughs> medicine? Um, medicine. I don't think so. No. Nope. No medicine. No. Okay. No medicine. All right. So, 
Uh, this is a whole bunch of dwarves come in and they look at their and like there's now a dwarf in each one and they're all in paint and they're all grunting. They have you know blood splatters on them and they're just, just like holding on to themselves and they you know they look like they were just in battle. They're pretty beat up. Um, and then she starts attending to them and then just starts you know whispering and muttering. Mm -hmm. what's, what's up? What's what's Chad saying? Okay. Miko's just being funny. Okay. All right. <laughs> What do you guys do when uh, all, all that happens? I'm eating. Okay, mm -hmm. the same thing. Um, no, she brought in food, right? Yeah, it's like over here. I'm gonna, I'm, I went and picked up. Because she was like in a, in a hurry what was happening. Um, I send my elf to go get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you send your elf. <laughs> oh, all right. I pick I pick it up. What was it again? It was a salad and what it else? Was, it was a salad um, and uh, um, uh, bread, uh, some pudding, uh, and then two cups of tea. Okay, the, the tea's one, gone. So yeah, One of the teas fell in like ruined the bread. I pick up, I pick up w the piece of bread that isn't messed up, mm -hmm. and I look at the salad, and I kick it to the side, just because <laughs> I don't care about that. And, and then it doesn't like salads. And then I just, bit. and I just come back, because the pudding's been spilled over too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you just grab that piece of bread and leave everything else on the floor. Yes. Okay. Um, and I just sit I'm down. gonna examine it and see how good it actually is. The bread. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, let me let me see. Is it is it decent or is my baguette better? It doesn't look pretty good at all, actually. I'm not gonna eat it at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it then. I'm just like slowly like taking out like small chunks and just looking looking at like the chaos that's ensuing right now. I'm not like, offering to help at all. Just yeah. like watching. As soon as you put you it in I your mouth, baguette. it is delicious. It rivals oven bread. Oh dang! I, and then but it's just one brick block. It's just mm -hmm. it's. Looks gross. Right. Well, while Telly is while Telly's eating her food, I'm just gonna tear off a piece of it and just shove <laughs> it in her mouth and force her to try it. Not even ask. Uh, it's delicious. And I just like look at her, and then I tear off half of it and give it to her. <laughs> so the inside of the bread has little like uh, berries all around, mm -hmm. like in a funeral form. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's just tasty. It looks gross, but it's mm -hmm. tasty. Okay. Now so I'm gonna eat yeah, this. I give her half of mine, and I. It's good, right? Yeah. What's going? What the heck is going on right now? And I just like stare at <laughs> as we just like sit there like eating our bread, just staring, watching these people, listening in on their conversations. <laughs> as, as you're listening in, she she's over here by the door, and like there's uh, you know more people uh, trying to bring the dwarves in. She's like, Lord, we don't have any room. Just put him over there. God, that beast needs to be slaughtered. Okay, okay. Um, I'll I'll be back. She looks over at the food that's on the ground. Looks at you. I'll be back. <laughs> It got and dirty. Just... <laughs> Such a horrible person. And she walks out the room as well. And uh, you, the door is open, and you hear like more people wounded on that other end. Um, and then you just uh, roll me. No, you should we escape? I don't think we're prisoners. <laughs> I think we can leave whenever we want. How are you feeling? Huh? Fine. Okay. <laughs> like you're probably. feeling fine. You don't know why your hands are bloody and why there's a giant hole. Yeah. Like, like, like there's blood confused. here and there's a hole like like there's blood on your tummy and you're like wait. Mm. Okay, well this is an interesting let's go then. <laughs> so we're <laughs> probably gonna, gonna jump like, onto her back. And we're oh, gonna go. Is she just wearing like her clothes right now? Is she I in eat? like in like a like a nightgown or anything? Um she, she would probably be put in like a gown. She just said I was bloody, Jesus. Yeah, there's there's blood on you. But like you're not they, didn't, they didn't give you. They, <laughs> no, no, she's you on my didn't back. wash you yet. Okay. That's, that's what I mean. uh, okay, and you're on your money back now. Yeah. Uh, and we just start walking. Like they did. They didn't even wash you. I don't trust them here. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Uh, I have all my belongings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can get them. They're not with yeah, you. I'm but, gonna yeah, I'm gonna grab all my belongings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys do that. Uh, are you guys gonna head out? Yeah. We're gonna mm -hmm. Hey, okay. everybody. Hey, hey. Perfect timing, actually. Yeah. Not even joking. Like. If you were here five minutes later, mm -hmm. it would offer because he had to role play everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's stuff on your chair, my bad. Man, oh, what? A, how do I say my word again? Dang it! My special word to get the cat back in there. Oh, uh, you can just for role playing purposes, like you can just say like, hey, it went. It, I my cat it. is my. Then you see him. My cat is back in its crystal. Jumps into the crystal. And you she's see a couple on of my back now. Like, what? <laughs> the blue dwarf, like nurse, can I get some water? Turn around. Then I turn around him. I'm not a nurse, just a good Samaritan. I'm not one anymore. 
and then we're just gonna start walking. He looks even more confused than he already was. Uh, as this other nurse is coming out, like, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? She's fine, and you need the extra bed. She'll be leaving now. Thank go, you for go, your time. Go get some air. That's we help. intend on it. Okay. If you need anything, you don't care. And then she yawns and then goes into this room. Very beautiful. She's going to follow me soon. She's very wise. Very I don't wise. care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we're gone now. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to pause that. So that was pretty much your entire night. Uh, a lot of, half of it was just cooped up being just like, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. Like, I'm perfectly fine. I'm like, Stop I don't know checking what these my toes. are doing yeah. to me. <laughs> um, and every single time, you know, they're obviously... Poking you. Oh, I didn't say it, but we have our clothes, by the way. With yeah, them. I mean, uh, no, I, I told them I got it. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you, I'm sure you'll find a nice place and the girls change are being in so edgy tonight. We are edgy. We're always edgy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I was born of the edge. We're going to head over <laughs> I to live you on guys. The wooden edge. Actually, uh, Ed, you want to scoot over a little bit that way? Yes. Just so you're more in the shot after you get all your belongings. Uh, ooh, look at that nice butt. Um, Can you stop staring at your butt? No, I stare at everyone's butt except for the females because that's the smart. Yeah. Thank um, you. That's just the smart. In the show now? Uh, yeah, between the cameras right You're going to get so hot in that jacket, boy. No, I he know is hot. I have a... No, you can. That's fine. Marketing shirt. Anyway. It's, Jesus it's, is like, please don't take it off. Please don't. don't. <laughs> you, you can have a logo of something as long as, you know, it's not like... Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's not like... Boy! Uh, yeah, that, it has my yeah. favorite drink on it. Yeah, it's, you can't see it. I it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, no one's gonna get that. Anyway. Okay, whatever. Um, so you, you guys are making your way down the mountain. You still have those giant uh, four cuts through your entire armor. Uh, your pendant of your uh, Peronius is still intact and was not scratched at all. Obviously, um, you guys are no longer bloodied, but pretty winded. Um. Uh, can you put your miniatures here in this little board that uh, represents nothing right now? Uh, and then there's also the I don't, I don't know where Mini is. She's gonna be representing Peaches. She's literally just gonna go to a stump and then just sit down. You gonna use there. her thing? <laughs> yeah, let's just huh? use her Mini. Yeah, yeah. If you find it, yeah, give me. He really wants to use this Mini. He's trying to use it for everything. Did <laughs> 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 you girls have snacks? Oh, yes. Yay! <laughs> uh, they were supposed to arrive tomorrow, oh but they arrived today. God. Can I see them? I only had time the to take one. The owlbear's name! Yeah. Oh, you just broke I'm the so owlbear. Did you just break wow. my owlbear? Wow, oh, game over. You just god. killed his. Oh my god, I, I can't believe I you. I only had time to oh paint one. <laughs> They're so cute. can't believe you. Guess you're just gonna have it's to... so uh, beautiful. You're just gonna have to face the mom again. Oh, Alright, oh, roll initiative oh. again, guys. There you go. Oh, wait, why did this oh, thing? Isn't, no. Wait, isn't that thing dead? Yeah, that's why I didn't paint it. That's, that was funny. That, he dropped it, and I just. You guys want to see how cute this owl bear is? <laughs> it's so <laughs> cute, you guys. He's so cute. He's got a baby. Owl. I named the female. I have it? named the male. Oh I yeah, what's her name? Oh, there you go. Focus. How about uh, the name? The female is Diana, which is uh, Elvin for forgive. Dude, the uh, male is gonna be Exodus. <laughs> Exodus is a good, good name. Exodius. That sounds dumb. Exodus was cooler. Exodius. Exodus. Dumb. <laughs> so you're, you're gonna have the. You're gonna try. And we have a fire element. A tame to uh, tame yep. the male, okay. the smaller one, who's uh, more, more aggressive. And then you're gonna Can try to tame okay. Sparky. No. So yeah. again, uh, yes. male, female, <laughs> because you know the size this is gonna be easier. He's a lot more uh, <laughs> angry, and then she's a lot, you know, calmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this doesn't it. represent the size very well. She's a little bit bigger than that, and he's about that size. Uh, okay, so um, so uh, you guys are about 200 feet, because uh, you guys, you know, from, uh, um, the midway of the mountain was when you guys were going up and curled around to go <laughs> to that, uh, that spot where the monkey men left. Mm -hmm. So you're about 200 feet away from the opening, the main entrance. Okay. Uh, what do you guys, what did, what's our y'all's plan? Of action because uh you know these are owl bears. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. I say we should find someone who tames animals. Maybe they can tame these Spock, things. Walk, walk, sits down, holds over like the, the bones of her. Uh, the quail starts throwing them away and just like, starts eating pieces of meat and just looking at you guys. Entertained. 
So what do you think? We should try to find someone who can tame animals. Maybe they can tame owlbears. Do you have knowledge of nature? I... Or animal handling? Maybe yes. we can go back and roll, roll, roll. this is what we Animal handling. Yeah, roll animal handling. Mm. Nine. Yeah, there should be someone out there that can tame them. Uh, you don't, you don't hurt Wait, anyone. Wait, nine plus my animal handling? Yeah, do you have anything on there? Thirteen. Thirteen? Um, okay, with that roll, you don't know there's someone out there that can tame them. You've never heard of this, and... I mean, looking at this guy, he, he wants to fight you every chance he gets every time he smells food. Hmm... Uh, the bigger one would be easier to tame, but still. Uh, you've never heard of anyone that can tame them. She's really skittish and, like, gets close to you, but as soon as you make eye contact with her or move towards her, she just, like, goes away. Like, like two or three feet. And then, as soon as you don't focus on her, you see that she's right next to you again. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. Yeah. Um, I'm actually representing their, uh, their characters after two rabbits I owned. They were pretty much just like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um... So one is kind of skittish and the other is a total bitch. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, what do you guys do? Um, I think I'll find a place to stay outside while you go and find the rest of the party. Sounds good to me. If you need anything, uh, wait, what do you guys do? Sorry. I'm going to stay outside with the owl bears for a little while and okay. kind of watch them while he gets the rest of the party and tells them, "Hey, outside, let's go." Okay. All right. Um, as you, okay, so you're gonna just walk down to, okay, so it, it is, uh, probably close to, like, two in the morning. You guys are very tired, obviously, after all that you've had, you're walking all the way up that mountain a couple hours, fighting that owlbear, coming back, even though you guys are healed, you're still pretty exhausted. Um, you, you did have a nice meal, but that's not, that's not adequate rest at all. Right. Um, and you guys did take about an hour just to, like, calm yourselves down, but that's still not adequate. Just mentioned that you guys are tired, extremely tired. Uh, same for your character. You're pretty tired. Your character is pretty rest just because in and out she randomly did sleep. Uh, and as you watched over her, you, I don't, I doubt that you meditated at all the entire time. She's so, also on my back right yeah. now. Uh, so you're not. No one has exhaustion. You're just tired. Okay. Very specifically. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you're gonna make your way down. Um. So before I, I walk out, I tell him, you think we should probably get some rest before we do this? Or what do you think we should do, Eleanor? I'll stay out for him to get the rest of the party. You can rest once we're all together. Dang it. Okay, I what? shall go get the rest of the okay. party. I um, shall rest later. Uh, you see that Peaches goes over with you. She runs over, like, smacks you, like, sh bumps her shoulder against your shoulder. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I don't know. She pulls out a paper. I saw this dwarf inside. Give me some penny. Where are you guys heading after this? Might be fun. I'll meet up with you guys there. Uh, I have no idea. As I'll, you guys are walking, you know, down. I have no idea. I'll do uh, I'll, I'll do some sort of sign. I'll probably uh, burn some incense. Maybe make uh, some sort of signal where I'm at with a fire or something. I'm not a druid, but I guess I can find you. <laughs> um, Sounds here. Good. She pulls out a, a piece of paper. Get this pen. Mm -hmm. Write your name on there. It's not, she looks like it's not an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I can just track you down with this. It's, it's a way how I can track down people. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go try to get some coin. Uh, cause this obviously isn't giving me any money. <laughs> and someone ate my quail. So, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. And, you know, as you guys are, you know, still hang out, walk down, but as soon as, uh, as soon as you guys are leaving out, you see, uh, Peaches mm -hmm. come in, look at you guys. And then just walks through you. She says, she, you know, being friendly, but she looks like mm -hmm. a purpose as she goes into the halls. And then you see Kay uh, right. outside. Do you know her? I think she she was that. I don't even know. She we saw her earlier. Okay. So yeah, you you see that the. Oh, well, fucking guy. You think so? Hold on. Can you remove the owlbears and? Yes. You. I'm just gonna draw real quickly here the outsides of the hall. I go to the. Did just she walk into the infirmary or just no, walk no, 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 no. The... As, as you guys no, are walking out. out so oh, like, we're out. Okay. Yeah, can you put your characters here? Like, as you're walking out of the mine, he comes down here. 
And she's and, on my back still. Yeah. So this and is the, where the table used to be, and there's, you know, this is going downwards, down the mountain. Um, and you guys are about, unless you move at all, you're still about 200 feet above them. Um, roll me perception, you guys. Did they put shoes on my feet? No, no, no. They never touched your feet okay. at all. Uh, except for examining them. Okay. So she's on my back in a, in uh, a, a hospital perception, gown. perception, not percentile. Oh. Is that 100? You, you said percentiles. Uh, well, Did it mean? That is, I, oh, you got, is that 100, dude? We're going to take that as your uh, nat 20 for your per, uh, perception. <laughs> Oh, she. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're going to take that 100. <laughs> um, 15. Um, 15. Uh, actually, wait. I'm jealous my... I didn't get this baguette snap. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, no, unfortunately. I don't think it was actually a baguette, no. um, Linda. Uh, as you're, uh, hold on. As you're, um, you know, with one of the, the female just goes to sleep after about 20 minutes or so. Uh, the other male, when she, when, as soon as she goes to sleep, like, charges at you, stops two feet, and, like, starts clawing at your, like, you have armor on your legs, mm -hmm. he just starts clawing at where the armor would be, the metal parts. And then just looks at you. Mm. <laughs> I was about to say, probably <laughs> hungry. Uh, I mean, I don't have any, like, meat on me. Uh, I have some, like, dried fruits and stuff, but I don't like him. Okay. He smells it. Hits it off your hand, like very hardly, and then starts hooting. <laughs> and Linda, when I mean, you hear this hooting, and it's gonna take you a bit to calm him down, you start hearing like ferocious, like okay, that's 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 scary. Like you 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 know this that that's owlbear hoots. These are dangerous creatures. They 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 kill things bigger than they are. Uh, they they're savage. You hear them above you, like towards like curving with the mountain. Is that the monster they were talking about? And you guys are uh, all together, so you guys hear this. I don't know, is it? I think that's Exodus. <laughs> Hopefully it's Exodus. Who the Exodus? hell? It's Exodus. <laughs> oh, it's my It sounds pet. bad. It's my, it's my owlbear. Who is this so guy? When did you... <laughs> it, wait, when he says that, that's my owlbear, you're first of all, you're like, who the fuck are you? Why do you have an owlbear? Why are we talking to him? <laughs> He's no one important. Hey, when hey. the hell did you get an owl bear? Well, Actually, uh, Linda, since you're re-meeting him, sure it's not roll me percentiles. Uh, <laughs> now, 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 now percentiles. Now legit percentiles. Now I roll percentiles. Yeah. So, me and Eleron, uh, my comrade, yes, I know. we got attacked. Zero, zero, we got six. attacked. So, okay, so six. And there was two baby owl bears. And uh, we decided to take, those, take them with us. You just randomly found two baby owl bears when you Did were you attacked. Did you just abandon your friend with owl bears? You don't know why, but you know that he is idolized by people. You just, like, in the back of your head, like, I know oh, he's famous. That's because he has owl bears. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Clear. yeah, obviously. People like him because he has owl bears, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you just randomly found them. Yeah, that's not important. The important thing is, uh, <laughs> the I just people... roll my eyes with anything you say. The, the people that almost killed her, we need to go after. Okay. So let's uh, let's group together. Uh, by the way, my name's Kay Burrell. Uh I'm very well aware. <laughs> I think you've only told me seven times. Well, that's fine. You need to remember it anyways. So. You don't need to know mine. Who is he? Well, let's all go together and go I'm after so these confused. monkeys. It's fine. I'm, I'll tell. I'll brief you on the way. They're gonna go after monkeys now. Uh, I, there's owl bears, and we're going after monkeys, and apparently someone almost killed me. Hmm. Okay. Yes, let's avenge your almost death. I'm sure she would love that. It's fine, I'll kill them all for you. Let's do it. Okay, okay. Let's go get my comrade. So, so we're gonna walking. go towards the owlbears, which I'm like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you go, you're going I'm towards like, owlbears. Wow, you she's don't, are you sure you don't like this at all. towards the owlbears? Are we, I should see we any first like be squirrels, squirrels, rabbits, anything around? Uh, anything that's meat. Can I roll a perception? Can I roll to see if he's like trying to trick Inside? me? Yeah, yeah roll, roll me an insight, yeah. 19. Oh. Uh, Hold on. 24. No, sorry, 23. 23. Are you trying to hide anything? No. <laughs> no, no, but she's going to do it because she doesn't trust him. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you you think he's telling the truth. He's, mm -hmm. he's not lying to you. While we're going down there, I'm just going to like debrief from basically on everything that happened. Okay. Oh, oh, you guys are going. Going uh, up, down, um, everywhere around. <laughs> you... <laughs> You do see a I hair could. that is like biting some roots. Good. You want me to put it in your mouth? <laughs> I just want the hair. 
Let's see. You're not a vegetarian, right? You're a you're not the stereotype of a golf? Okay. No. Okay, and you don't My character was raised food. by humans. That's why she kicked us out. She was like, nah. <laughs> I am going to use Sacred Flame on it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Alright, that's DC 13. Yep. Wait, what did I miss? What are you doing it on? I'm using um, Sacred Flame on a rabbit. So, as you guys are coming up, you see an elf Wait, with on. two owl bears next to him, and then he just looks at a rabbit and, with like intention, clenches his fist, and out comes flames, and then you mm -mm. see. A hair convulsing mm -hmm. in flame <laughs> and just scream, and then the second letter just falls over dead. Well, then, uh, there goes lunch. <laughs> I'm just gonna look down to the other. It's cooked. I'm just gonna he just up. runs over <laughs> and just starts devouring the I'm crap just, out of this. And as the other Albert like, gets out. Why did you bring me to? I'm gonna sit down next to it and I'm gonna, like, kind of just, like, I don't know, pour some water from my flask into my hand and then just kind of, like, make a motion down to its head. Oh, the one that's sleeping? Yeah, like... She, it, it like, two, five, it, it depends on how patient you are. If you wait for five minutes, then she'll wake up, lick it, and then go back to sleep. I'm just staring at all this. I'm like, very confused. Yeah. <laughs> We're um, all just like, huh? So, yeah, you guys are all, all together, and I'm, I'm not going to redraw it. Uh, do, I, do I recognize his face from saving me? Uh, roll me for sense tiles. His ears, because Do I recognize his <laughs> Up, you, you do. You, 95. You know, you know he is the one who saved you from death. Oh. Hello, angel. <laughs> <laughs> you have competition now. Hmm. <laughs> oh! Dang! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Exodus is eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you have some competition. He's gonna be like, no. oh, look, he's so cute when he eats. He's sleeping. Oh, he's so cute like, when he sleeps. <laughs> You uh, when you say like oh look he's eating he opens his mouth and like intestines are falling out. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, <laughs> you. <laughs> Good. Why do we have Alberts? I just I don't understand. They're gonna eat us. Big as big as me, right? Yeah, one of them is one of them is your size. One of them is twice your size. It's gonna eat me. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. We'll protect you if they do that, right, Alaron? Hmm. Well, then. Ready to kill it in a heartbeat. Well, hopefully, <laughs> well, as, as like you look at the excess, just has like now the, the rabbit's head in its mouth, and then like it just crunches down as the bones break. See, just staring would, at you. I would never harm my little guy. Well, I'm glad to see that y'all are both okay. Uh, this is Diana, and this Sleepy. is oh, this is my Exodus. Is Exodus the bigger one or the smaller one? Exodus is smaller, grumpy. Smaller one that's the size of a pit bull. He's grumpy, uh, and he's a male. The other one is a small. It's about the size of an adolescent uh, donkey, uh, and she is very timid and she's bigger. Okay. You didn't you get. You didn't get famous for your brains, right? Well, <laughs> uh oh, here we go. I did go to law school. That's a different thing, though. Anyways, ah. Uh, Anywho. Exactly. Did you really? Yeah. I did. <laughs> His character I'm did. I'm a pretty right. smart guy. Uh, what's your intelligence? What? My intelligence is uh, 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's that dumb, but yeah. Mm -hmm. He's smart. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, okay. let's try to track down these monkeys. I'm gonna so like, you let slowly them creep my way to the big, <laughs> quiet out. Okay. Uh, are you gonna try to stealth or just just? No, okay. no. I'm gonna like approach it okay. calmly. Okay. I'm Roll watching head very cautiously. Like, don't you dare, my baby. <laughs> no. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. You go up to it. Um, you don't know why. You know that there's like a sweet spot like next to its ear, like where it's like the feather meets like right here. Mm -hmm. on and then you you wait <laughs> for it to like m like notice that you're there. And then you, s you slowly put your hand next to its eyes, let it sniff it as you're not making eye contact. You're just using your peripheral vision, and you go to where its ear is, and you touch it. Wait a couple seconds. You start rubbing its ear. <laughs> 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 
This is all like five minutes. I'm gonna name it from the end. I'm pretty sure you're gonna name it. Telly. Because you're like. Telly, you can't just go and rename people's pets. Never mind, you're gonna do it anyway. She's just she's just petting it slowly. Alright, it's getting comfortable. You wanna cuddle and fall asleep? That's for getting near it. I didn't even ask you, just get in near it and start. It doesn't really move or like embrace you, it just it just stands there, it doesn't. Telly, don't you think it's time you got dressed? Because you're like still in your nightgown. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> well here, then I like bend down and then like and I have her shoes. Let me just let me at least put these on and just start putting her shoes she, on her. I mean, that, I mean with the owlbear. Do you still have like amnesia? Mm -hmm. What? I do. <laughs> That's why she's cuddling up to a fucking owlbear. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, well, you're over there, so I'm okay. not worried. So I'm just like walking to walk over to her, bend down, just start putting her shoes on her while she's trying to cuddle it. The owlbear is just looking at you. It, um, I'm not even looking at it. Yeah, it just, it doesn't look like scared or anything. Just, it's observing what she's doing. That's all. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Albert we need to track right. down the uh, monkey man and the shaman. I have a feeling he's down by that river down there, but we don't know for sure. I can scout ahead. I'm, I'm falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I like her, her shoe on. No, my uh, character's yeah. just so oh, out of it. Now you're asleep. Yeah, she's okay. so out of it. As you're like, we need to hunt these. Oh god, she's asleep now. And <laughs> she's uh, she like just falls over, and I like catch her. <laughs> no, she's already cuddled. Next oh, you're already cuddled. Uh, okay. Well, hope I'm going to sleep. Good night, Elrond. Right. I did my job. <laughs> like right here, right now. Outside? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna find a nice comfy spot. Oh, this is a nice treat. <laughs> I'm laying down. I'm just sitting here next to my elbow. I'm like, I am surrounded by idiots. My character is still has a. I was number one in my class, elbow. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so what are you two gonna do? The um, elves. The ones that read I do. Uh, am I exhausted? Do uh, I have? You're tired. You're not exhausted because that's a specific category that has okay. a lot of fire. But you are tired. Like you want to sleep. Um, the ground and rocks and trees is not comfortable. Mm. You idiot Albert. Yeah. Grand staff. I mean, she's perfectly... <laughs> she she's has. fine. Uh, he's weird, uh, but this is in, like, good conditions to sleep in. Is there, like, a tree or anything? Or a rock? I think I can just, like, lean my back against... Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll find something if you guys uh, do want to camp outside. That's, per that's perfectly fine. I suppose since two of our party members are already sleeping. <laughs> yeah, she's she's not gonna wake up. She's she's gone. Okay. All right. <laughs> As I wake up. Tired, so I guess we'll we'll camp um, out for a little while. Okay. Okay. Uh, are we gonna take turns? Watch. Okay. okay mm. I'm, gonna, uh, just I'm asleep. <laughs> All right. Mm. You both are. You only need four hours of meditation. So <laughs> if you sleep, just like standard thing. If you sleep. Uh, or meditate and he's watching, he can take the next shift and that covers a human's normal sleep pattern. Mm -hmm. Just as a thing. So if you guys want to do that, that's sort of cool. Okay. Um, do you want to rest for sh first or should I? I'll take the first watch. Okay. I'm just going to go to a tree and like sit down, put my back against it. I'm going to look at him. What's your name? Aleron. Aleron Esperus. Where are you from? Kyoto. What you know is that that's like the hub of the elf. That is the that is where you guys mm -hmm. are from. You you I don't think you've ever been there. Mm -hmm. You might never even seen it, but that is definitely where your family's from. Mm -hmm. my, Am I aware and alert as I'm asleep? No. Are you? Where are you? Hills. Jesus. It says that all <laughs> times I am aware and alert. <laughs> She's asleep. <laughs> but you're asleep. She's um, like snoring all the time. Did you hear that twig break? <laughs> You you would not get a disadvantage. Nick, mm -hmm. you would get a you would just get a normal roll. Nick, roll for us. Tell me if, if this is a roll. Where is Nick? Oh, you would you would get a disadvantage because you're asleep, but because you're out in the woods, that counts as a so normal. So it's just a regular it's roll. It's a normal roll, oh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've uh, never been. <laughs> What's it like? It's the most gorgeous city I've ever seen. Aside from that, it's not easy to describe. You should get some rest. I'll keep an eye on things. God deny. Thanks. Thank you to the Lord. <laughs> God deny. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. All right. And I'm just, oh, okay. uh, just All for right. uh, uh, sakes. Um, so. Where's my This is the mountain that you guys are in. This is where his homeland is, which is the Elven. Yeah, the Adara is the, uh, okay. most beautiful city I've ever seen. 
Where am I from? I know where I'm from, but we're from the main city. Yeah, so yeah I'm trying to figure out what it's called. We're literally right next to it. Right. Yeah, where are we? What's it called? I know I'm from the main city, but. Here. Is that it? Mm-hmm. I'm from, uh, I think Michael. it's Iandara yeah. and Kionin. Yeah. That's the... Yeah. Well, what's my city called again? Sumo. The capital it's, uh, city. Ab Absalom. Absalom. I know it started with an A. Okay. Yeah, a Go up a little? This specific city you guys are from. Okay. Absalom. Oh, Can you yeah. zoom in? Yeah, it's Epsilon. Yeah, we're both from Epsilon. Yeah. Um, oh. This is, uh, it's, it's known, <laughs> oh. just, uh, Chris, you, you so definitely cute. know. It is known as this, uh, the city where the stars fell. That's what his city is called? No, your city. Mine, okay. Like, that's, that's, that's where... Yeah, I remember that. We mean that. Okay. I, don't, I mean, that's just the information. Okay. Our city is also, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Then I'm just, and, uh, right before I close my eyes, I'm just gonna... I was a mob thief slash gangster there. <laughs> we got a pitbull named Tupac. I had an outfit. Named Tupac. Oh, did, get, uh, did they get shot? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Uh, with oh, an okay. arrow, so, which is yeah. why I became a ranger. <laughs> oh, Lord. To avenge oh, his death. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, uh, right before I close my eyes, I'm just gonna thank you for saving the telly. I don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to her. That is probably the most sincere thing you've ever heard her say in the past, like, two days that you've known her. I just... I don't make eye contact when I say that, I just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> you said it, you turn away, then you start your meditation process. Alright. Uh, I, I want to actually... Oh, are you already meditating? No, I'm like... Okay. I'm not gonna... My name is Vera. I don't give a last name. <laughs> I don't give a last name. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> um, well, one last thing. Do you have any... Meat or anything on you? Any quail, jerky, anything like that? No, unfortunately not. We can try Telly's in the morning. D if we go near her stuff, she's gonna wake up. <laughs> Very well. Since right, like <laughs> <laughs> her ears would just <laughs> like, like her face tw torn towards you with her eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I will observe. Okay. Right. Um, I go into my meditative stance. I'm like. I'm like, I'm <clears throat> shaking in four hours, and then I'm just gone. Okay. Uh, roll me perception, uh, Elrond. Can I wake up after a few hours and go scavenge quietly without them knowing to get the owlbear's food? Just because, like, my you, ranger you would know that they're rest. hungry. So, he wants to yeah, uh, just roll said. me a d8, just so I know when you wake up in those mm -hmm. eight hours. What did you get? I got an 11. Seven. An 11. <laughs> oh, dang. You just left, okay. girl. Uh, hmm. Okay. You don't really hear anything special or anything out of the ordinary. Uh, the Alvers come in and out. You know that they're nocturnal, but also there's cubs, so they're going to sleep most of the time that they should be awake. Uh, so they just wake up. They play with each other. You see that the, the small one's still kind of a bully. Uh, sometimes when they're playing with each other, you, you, you don't know if he's just attacking her. You have no idea, uh, so I don't know if you're gonna break it up when he's getting too like aggressive with her. But um, you know that she can stand her ground. It's just she chooses not to. From this, from those four hours of you just watching them, that's that's what you gather. Okay. So your four hours are up. Wake her. Okay. Roll me a general perception <laughs> check as he goes into his meditative state, and you wake up in an hour from now <laughs> after her first watch. <laughs> or okay. An hour after her watch, you wake up. Okay. So when yeah. he wakes when he wakes me up, I kind of get ready to like get ready, just like elbow him. Yeah. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's what. Hmm. Oh, oh man. I'm the worst. Huh. Sorry, <laughs> we all die, guys. It's nine. Nine. Okay. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Actually, the owlbears are asleep when you wake up, and it is really boring. Um, you're just playing with your knives here and there. Uh, I don't know if you have any letters or anything that you would like to read or have anything like that. Uh, but you do notice that she's waking up. Uh, and as you wake up, you know that the owlbears are asleep right now. But they... They're gonna wake up. They're gonna wake up hungry, yeah, for sure. They're growing. This is the stage where they start growing bigger and bigger and bigger rapidly. So within a year or so, they're gonna be twice her size. Cool. Yeah. I'm waking up. I'm as you wake up, food. roll me two perceptions. One for f survival for food, and then perception. I get, um... Doubled or whatever, because we're in your, the hills. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. your proficiency is doubled for both of these. <laughs> uh, this one was for the food, and the other one was for the second one. Okay. So, this one 
is for one with uh. What is the first one? Survival. Survival. There we go. So. Eighteen, because it's doubled, right? Yeah, so so the professor your two is not yeah, four. it's a four. Yeah, that's what it's about. yeah, so eighteen. Okay, um, yeah. you, okay, so that that you will definitely find something, um, and you'll find it in double the normal time that you would normally uh, find food. Yeah. So it's gonna take you about twenty minutes to search these mountains to find something instead of like an hour or so. What did you get on perception? Which is also uh, instead of a two is, is four for your uh, proficiency modifier. Uh, I got. Twelve. Okay. Um. Uh, what are you hunting for? I'm finding meat. <coughs> anything specific? No, anything that I know that owl bears for sure. Okay. Uh, which that's the entire gambit of all food. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm just trying to find something because I know they're gonna wake up, and then like the ranger side of me is like, uh-uh. <laughs> uh, I saw her leave. Yeah, you saw her. <laughs> you oh, oh you're seeing her so starting to head out. Okay. Uh, well, are you, you gonna mention anything to her before we head out? It's gonna be like. Oh, I already have a feeling of what she's gonna do, okay. and yeah. I'm not worried yeah, about it. Yeah, you her. guys let the girl with the amnesia just wander the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you've, fun! You've, you've been <laughs> returned up that you know that this is this normal. Is normal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so she... you do stumble upon a family of um, vampire deer that are near the mountains. Time to slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's just their name. They're, they're very specific deer that are near the mountains that actually have like fangs coming out. They're not carnivorous or anything, they're just mm -hmm. evolution. They're normally smaller than regular deer. They're more agile, uh, but they're leaner, and their food is uh, normally preys more than just normal deer. Mm -hmm. So you find a couple of those. Cool. I'm gonna take them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if I take them, I'm gonna kill yeah, them. Roll, roll okay. me to hit um, uh, with an advantage. Uh, and sorry, what were you saying? If she's not back by the time my watch is over, I'm gonna go after her. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Do I wake up at any point? Uh, not right now. No, not right now. Yeah, twenty-one. You, twenty-one. You definitely hit one. Uh, you can easily just with that roll, you know exactly where to shoot, so it doesn't feel any pain. And as soon as one of them drops, the rest of them run away, which is you knew exactly that was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Um, you specifically went after these guys because you know that you can drag one. Versus mm -hmm. they're full deer, you won't be able to drag. <laughs> I was so, gonna like chop it yeah. up, put it in my quiver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could also do that if you want, uh, but you know you can drag this. Guy. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. take that one and drag uh, it. Uh, because you suffered exhaustion not hours ago, uh, and you just fought, and you were bring back from almost death, it's you need sleep. You're you're exhausted. Um, you're sleeping, yeah. human. So. Uh, she comes back with uh, a carcass <laughs> of a, a lean deer to you. Um, I don't know if you uh, want... Do you have animal handling or nature at all? No. Okay, then yeah, it's just a deer. It looks weird because he has like little tusks coming out of him. Um, and it seems to be like no blood or anything. He's just... He, to you, for a couple seconds, he looks asleep. Um, you know, you get your arrow <laughs> back and everything. Uh, it's just a clean shot. So <laughs> As I'm like dragging it. Yeah, and she's just dragging the deer, like, you know, <laughs> about the size of one of the owl bears, actually. Mm -hmm. The bigger one. Nice kill. Is there enough for all of Is there enough for you and me, too? I figured as much. <laughs> I found you some berries, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you, you look at your pot, roll me for. for uh, uh, um, yeah. Roll me percentiles to see what's what came out of your pot. <laughs> I got a uh, 62. Um, a... <laughs> be a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a fruit or a vegetable. Uh, oh so God. an orange comes, like when you reach over the pot and there's like a little tiny orange tree, but a full grown orange, just ripe and smelling perfectly. Orange? I just kind of stare at her. And then I stare <laughs> at her and I just, I just kind of smile and I just take the orange. <laughs> Then I it's, put my pot up. It's gonna be delicious. All the food that comes out of her pot is always delicious. Okay, so um, are you gonna wake the owl bears or are you just gonna leave the carcass there for them? I am gonna just drag it as close to them and then okay. I'm gonna leave it there for them. The, the male wakes up first and immediately like rushes over. And then I'm like, roll share. Hand, roll hand on <laughs> the mm. It's kind of, in my trance, I kind of just like open one eye and just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 14. 14. You managed to make it stop for a second, and he he's not sure why. 
and he just hoots very loudly, like, get out of my way, and then the sister wakes up. What do you do in that interaction? He's not attacking, he's not aggressive, he's just impatient right now. <sighs> As the other bear woke up, right? Yeah. Then I'm gonna do stuff to him. Okay. And make sure that they both. Yeah, You every now and then you're gonna have to, like, I don't know if you have a stick or anything, or you just use, like, an arrow. No, or no, I am, I'm just gonna be like... Like, 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 <laughs> and starts eating it. They, they, they both eat it. Uh, the female looks over. You think this is a smile or some sh form of happiness as the entire face is covered in blood? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, you do wake up for a good, like, maybe two minutes, like, at the smell of blood, and, you know, you wake up from, like, the battle. Oh, God. <laughs> you go back to meditation. Um, you're just having a good sleep. I'm gonna have to bathe. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my nap. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm gonna take a power, power nap. I'm gonna go up to her and just like fall asleep on her like. Before um, you fell asleep, um, you with the perception roll that you uh, uh roll, you did. You think you heard like a grunt? Not it's not animalistic. You know that for sure. Oh okay, then hell um, no, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, you heard like an animal, not an animalistic grunt, but you heard like a grunt, but like down the mountain, way, way further well, east. Was that towards the area that he said? Towards the river. Towards the river? Knowing that I am a ranger, would would know where water is? Ah, uh, roll me nature. Dang. It's the uh, doubled, right? Mm-hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Yes. <coughs> that is in that area. It... it and what I mean a forest is like, that sound came out of a forest over there, so a full like area where there's an, a, you know, its own separate ecosystem. And there's a river flowing that combines the, the mount. So uh, looking at the map. Technically, isn't the entire river? I'm uh, done with you, Linda. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done throw you away now. So looking at the, the <laughs> Oh my god, can you, can you like, can you... Oh jeez. Hey, there's something nice. Sorry, I'm sleeping. Can I feed KB? So, you know that it's <laughs> in this area. Could you stop? <laughs> could you, could you, it's that, it's that way, up north. Um, we'll pull the map later because we're going to discuss it in a minute. But, uh, yeah, it's, so, it's, it's in this little... I can hear it that far away. You, you heard something grunt. We're that you know it's not an animal. Like, really yeah, close. Yeah, you, you guys are very, very close, yes. Where are we at? Here, let me park in the mountain. Okay, so we hear something coming from the woods. Yeah. From something that's loud enough for me to be like, oh. It, it's very faint, but you know that's not an animal. Oh, okay. I mean, it could just be a person that fell. It could be a hundred from, things. From far, far, far away. I mean, but you heard something. Okay. That you know it's not an animal. Okay. What did, what did you hear? I'm just gonna stand up. Mm -hmm. I stand up, and I'm just gonna go over to KB. How many hours has it been since? Right now, no, it's I, like I, I'm gonna mention that it's far, far away. Seven oh, you hours mentioned that. So. Oh, you <laughs> mentioned that it was far, far <laughs> away. So you know that he's gonna oh, okay. wake up soonish. Yeah. You know when the sun's starting to rise. You know, like in a bit, it's gonna. The morning's gonna come. Morning's gonna come. Yeah. For okay. Sure. I changed that. Then Here I'm just. Down she down said it was far, far away. So I'm just gonna stay where I am and okay. just kind of nod to her and just keep my eyes open, though. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, okay. So it's uh, morning time. All you guys have HP. Everything's full, all magic. Everything. Um, you guys had Can a nice I wake rest. Can I KB? Uh, oh, so now you're in the KB. Oh <laughs> no. What is this? What are you trying to do? <laughs> the shambler. I was just gonna run. I was just gonna wake him up. Okay, uh, sure, yeah, the elf wakes you up. I don't know how, but how are you waking him up? How we, do we, do we have, like, any water or anything? Yeah, yeah you'll have a, a water skin. Okay, I'm just oh, gonna God. walk over to him. Not a lot, just, like, drip and, like, pour, like, about, like, a mouthful <laughs> right on his face. You wake up with cold water hitting your face. Erroneous! Oh, oh, oh. I see we're just for a sword. Is that what you scream mm. when you get water all over your face? Oh. And then I just kind of, and then I just, like, jump back. I'm like, let's go, hero. All right, let's do this. Out. Put my sword in my, my back. Oh, I'm ready. 
to explore these monkey men, and I just got hot, so. You're ready to explore, <laughs> you're ready to explore some monkey men. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna what are my owl bears doing? Uh, right now, they are sound asleep. Oh. Is there, there any meat left? No. There's bones and organs and blood everywhere. There's that organs is left? Yeah, there's some organs left. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to get, like, a little, like, piece of cloth, I guess, and just, like, kind of put some nasty meaty goo yuck in there and kind of wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I don't like this as being a vegetarian character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to I'm take like, some of the I'm organs. Gonna need it. I'm going to take some of the organs and just put them in my bag. I'm just kidding. Carissa okay. just like organs in her bag. Just doesn't even <laughs> care. Don't, don't, don't doesn't even there. the amount of cares. Uh, <laughs> Linda, roll me an animal handling one last time. With advantage. With advantage? Yes. So first roll 17. Oh. Second roll, so okay, Animal hunting. Uh, okay. hmm. 19. You know that probably for the next 10 hours, these things are knocked out. The sun's up. They're they're gonna they're gonna sleep. Hey, Elaron, do you think we should make some sort of uh, <laughs> wheelbarrow or something and take these things with us? <laughs> make, wheel- make a wheelbarrow. Yeah, you as said I mentioned to him that. So he knows. Okay, so yeah, you guys are pretty much that information as well now. You know that these things, all, when the sun comes up, they're they're that's their sleep time. I want to see if I can, uh, especially pick, being children, they're they're gonna be knocked out. I want to see if I can pick up uh, Diana and just like kind of carry her like this. Roll me a strength check. Oh fuck, <laughs> she's gonna wake up. <laughs> Probably, but she's not like typically an angry one. Oh no, that's not gonna be good. Oh my god, guys, we're about to all die. That's Here we go. Cell is five. She's too heavy. <laughs> oh yeah, heavy. she's heavy. Uh, it's it's what's your strength modifier? Two. She's pretty heavy. She's uh. Just stay there. Yeah, she's heavy. Too. <laughs> I just like okay, never mind. <laughs> she doesn't even wake up when you're trying to pick her up, and she she gets contorted, and then when she falls asleep, like one of her paws is like you know bending against her, Aww. and she's just like. Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well. He's definitely not wholesome. We should make a like, wagon or something and just take him with us. Or do you think uh, we'll be back in time? Don't you have a wagon? Didn't you have a wagon? Is there a wagon? Uh, roll me an intelligence check, both of you guys. (laughs) Yes! 19. Okay. 15. You both do remember you were on a mission. That's that's all I'm saying. You remember you were on a specific mission. (laughs) You think we should just leave these guys and come back later? While we go uh, hunt down some uh, monkey men that almost killed our friend, I or acquaintance. don't see any other way. So, all right. I just pull out a blanket and I kind of just like tuck, tuck Diana. In. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You get your blanket out and you know, bring your bed roll and. And I'll put my little sack of gooey yuck guts kind of next, next to her. <laughs> okay. That's you know, blood and oozes pouring out of it. Ugh. Gross smell, but um, yeah. you know, they'll like it. So you're telling me you killed its mom, you dragged it out to a place it doesn't know, and now we're abandoning them? Oh, you guys are so gross. Well, as long as we're back by nightfall, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Can I create a mini shelter around them? It's going to take you a bit, but we you can if back. you want to. Yeah, you can... You Fuck can it, they're going to die. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, it's up to they're you. They're going to get haunted by a great... They're going to get haunted. <laughs> they get back, they're dead. No! <laughs> oh, 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 you fucked me up! <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm just... I guess we'll go now. Okay. okay. All right. What are you guys going to do specifically? I'm going to try to make a mental note of where we are abandoned. You know, you, you know oh. where they are. You can track back okay. here okay. easily. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cartographer's tools, just <laughs> yeah. Back on the the map that the that uh, Prodar gave you. That's mm-hmm. why I don't trust humans. Yeah, understandable. Can you can you track the monkey men? Yes. As I am gonna try to track what I would assume looks like it's not natural monkey men. Feet. Okay. Um. So you're gonna just start trying to track them right right now. Um. I assume you guys are gonna eat breakfast, be a little rations, get yeah. all that, yeah. all that, all that morning stuff out of the way. Yeah, we got Your all prayers, the prayers, prayers, all that stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, um, so you're gonna like, just wake up, go. In go my up. prayer, I'm including a prayer to keep my babies safe as they sleep. Okay, <laughs> all right. So uh, yeah, you have the map, right? Oh yeah. I do. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, and you remember exactly where you filmed. So are you? I'm assuming you're gonna 
explain that information to the halfling. Yes. Okay. Uh, are you just on your way? Yeah. Okay. So Welcome back, Nico. Hi. So, uh, is it Natalie? Is it? Right? It's human. Yeah, cool. Hey. Hey, so there was blood. <laughs> I don't know if you know anything about this. Uh, do you know if this is monkey man blood or? From everyone roll me perception. Advantage. With advantage? No, no, okay. only her. Uh, I'll pull out the rock that I had and have the blood. Okay. 21. 20. Pass, pass. 14. Fail. 14. <laughs> 19. Mm-hmm. Okay, pass. Uh, so as you're explaining that you have the rock with blood and uh, Natalia, you see that there is definitely blood on this rock. Um, it could be anyone's blood, but there's definitely dried up blood on the rock. Mm-hmm. You hear chain and metal, like clinking and footsteps and a lot of dwarven grunting, like coming up. Hmm. My babies. <laughs> I, am, I am staying by my babies and waiting for said grunting noises. Don't okay. kill them. Don't slaughter them in their sleep, please. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so you, you guys hear that. He, that's what yeah. he does. He gets you know prepared. He, do you have a shield? I do. Okay. Um, you know, you, I'm going to start if you take out your shield, but at least he's gripping onto it or, or his ha- mm-hmm. has his hand close to it. What do you guys do as uh, Sir K is explaining the situation? I'm looking at the rock and at the town where the sound is coming from at the same time. I'm like, you, uh, you can easily pinpoint after a couple of seconds that there, uh, as the, you guys were run, going up the trail, there were some natural steps made out of wood, mm-hmm. and it's coming from that direction. So you know that whatever's coming, it's not like it's an ambush or anything. They're, they're specifically following that path towards you guys. Okay. What do you do? Um, is there anything, anything that I can kind of like duck and hide behind? No, there's oh, trees like tr- and rocks and stuff like that, so you can easily hide can if I? you wanted to. Yeah. Can I sure. climb a tree? Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Do you want to hide up a tree? Yeah, I want to hide okay, up a tree. Okay, roll me a uh, stealth. It's not acrobatics? No, no, because you, uh, you can easily climb with enough time that you guys have. You, you'll you go up. I just want uh, um, to see how stealth? well you stealth. Yeah. Mm, and I'm going to roll general. Okay. 22? Okay, cool. 22, noted. Okay, I just, I just find a tree and I just kind of... Okay, kind are of you going to tell them before you get up? I'm like, hey, I'm dipping or anything, or are you just going to climb up the tree? Nope. Okay. I don't need to know. All right, so you, you see the elf blink. climbing up the tree, uh, and then uh, if you guys want to specifically locate her, you would have the Roman perception check. Um, if not, then she's considered gone to you, all of you guys. Um, okay. Uh, so what do you? As you're explaining. What do you? What do you do? Because you don't. You, you're not aware of anything. Did you see her just climbing up the tree for no reason? Huh? Where's she? Uh, it doesn't matter. So uh, <laughs> these monkey men. Um, someone's coming. Where? What? What's coming? The owlbears? <laughs> I, just, I just don't tell him. I just wait. Okay. Wait to see. Um, I'm taking out my shield for Ronius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I took my little mask and I put it over my face again. Okay. Shh. It takes my cloak. about four minutes for Awkward whatever silence. those Awkward things. Silence. Yeah. Um, just it's, have my knives out. I mean, realistically, mountain. Yeah. So, so it takes it takes a little bit, and I mean, it's not terribly long, but about four minutes of awkwardness. Uh, as you see, a couple of guards, um, in in armor, looking. Like, oh, we were looking for you guys. Um, oh. Uh, it's uh, the uh, father. It's uh, he's, he wanted to to talk to you. Um, we didn't find you in the hall or or anything. Um, I I didn't even know in my schedule that I was supposed to prepare a bed for you guys, but uh, it's uh, like I missed it. There's breakfast ready too. Um, as I'm looking at the owlbears, <laughs> I'm just like the, in the yeah, tree staring like at this. <laughs> Don't move. I just kind of sit down and I pet it just so that he knows that it's okay. Like. Oh yeah, by the way, this is our pets. Um, just letting you guys know. They're not pets, they're mm-hmm. pretty well animated. <laughs> <laughs> These are not pets. They're okay. pets now! <laughs> um, uh, uh, I, I didn't know that the great Sir K had uh, uh, tamed out of the pets. Um, um, <coughs> yeah, me and they're Elderon. They're mine. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't listen Yeah, she has amnesia, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Diana. Uh, and this is Exodus. Uh, this is uh, our pets. Uh, yeah, me and Elderon, uh, we are taming them. So, uh, yeah. Um. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I'm doing... Okay, I'm doing my job. Um, Father wants to, for you guys to report to him for I love something. Um, don't bring them in. Darn. They're scary. Well, it's not like we can move them. They're sleepy. Oh. Good. Actually, I have a question. Can I buy a? Do you guys have a wagon that's uh, big enough to hold 
He's Albert. I'm not gonna bring him in. I promise. I just need to see if I can buy one. I'm sure somewhat in the mountains you can find a lagging. Yes. I'm gonna buy a carriage. You can um, it. Yeah. There I, you go. Never mind. I, I, dude, I'm just doing my job. Okay. Like I don't even get paid enough to do this. I I consider my my deed done. I'll let you guys and your beast alone. He just walks down the path, and then like there he sees is. that there's two other people that are walking up, and he just does anyone know Dwarven? No, right? Uh, no. He just mutters something in Dwarven, and they look like what? And then he just like <laughs> and, and start walking around. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and then they just walk down. <coughs> um, still in the tree. Watching. Yeah, yeah. Because there's they, two they, other people coming, right? Yeah, they, no one saw you at all. Oh, That's well. funny. Um, and actually, you well, guys forget that she's up there for a couple seconds. I don't forget what she's doing. You, I mean, you never do. Yeah. I <laughs> guess we should mm -hmm. go speak with him if he has something to tell us. Okay. I'm not even going to climb down. I'm just going to jump down right next to Roll me yeah, acrobatics. I have good acrobatics. Fall on the tree. Oh. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Nothing is wrong. 24. With Roll me 1d3. Which is a D6 divided in half. What? A D6 divided in half. Or just roll D6 and tell me what number it is. I'm not going to tell you it. Six. Six. Three. So, yeah, so it'd be three. So you fall right next to KV. Oh my god. He doesn't even notice it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Redacted. Oh, yeah. So you're right behind okay. him. And are we going? Now I just speak. Then I like link. Are we going to take him up on his offer? And then you hear like. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't I'm know. just like looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> just to quickly compose this like, character is actually like 70 years old. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, my heart. <laughs> the, uh, heart the end of the great Sir KB. <laughs> the little gray. White crease, white broccoli is the best. <laughs> Why? That albino broccoli? That's uh, garbage. Regular broccoli is no. the best. Broccoli With and cheese. broccoli. Is broccoli. Oh, I love cheesy broccoli, but hold the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> just the cheese sauce and a spoon. Um, so we're going to go? Um, yeah. By the way, Elrond, I'd like to say you're a genius that we uh, that you know you came up with this idea to tame these bears. Um, I actually congratulate you, chap. Thank you. All right, cool. As he's one fourth your age. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like <laughs> one fourth your age. Okay. <laughs> he said there was breakfast. I so heard. Hmm. Um. So I'm gonna just like gather all my stuff up so we can go. Okay. I'm gonna right. hand my stuff to her, mm. and then I'm gonna create these f damn things at home. Okay. Tell them I'll meet up with them. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Um, Just okay. enough shelter to where if someone walks by, they don't kill them thinking that they're. Uh, I'll wait with her then. All right. It, it'll take you about an hour to work everything together and build something. Mm -hmm. and That's then, decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know that I'm gonna get in the way, so I just sit and watch over her. Um, oh, I thought you were going. With oh, them. I'm going with them. Oh. Okay. Except, I mean, your character. You decide what you do. I'll go with them. Okay. And uh, you can write a letter saying, "Yeah, you know, on there." And if she, me. if she's not back in two hours, I'll go back and. Search okay. Her. Oh no, I know it wouldn't take her that long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, eventually, it, we guys get food in the hall. Um, you can save her a plate, and you know she'll come in. And <laughs> I save her two plates. Yeah, two plates. Excuse me. Pardon. My apologies. Two plates. Um, you know, and it's pretty good food. Very salted. Um. Strong, everything, all the the, the tea is too too strong, the coffee is too strong, the ale is too strong, even the light ale or the children's ale, as they call it, it's too strong. Are there sweets? Uh, yeah, there'll be sweets as well. There, there's always they're always gonna give you dessert that has it's <coughs> sweet and it's gonna be just perfectly sweet for dwarven taste compared to elven taste. It's gonna be perfectly sweet. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys have your meal and you guys meet up together. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, it's up to you guys. Do you want to do a little bit more RP, or do you, or do you guys want to break? Since it's break time right now. Um. Uh, I say we take our break now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think it's a good part yeah, to yeah, take yeah. our break. Okay. So uh, we're gonna meet up with them. And they're yeah, gonna plus that's a good talk to talk to Fraudar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, mm -hmm. talk to Fraudar about uh, the situation. All right. So we'll see you guys in fifteen. Mm. See you guys fifteen. Bye, you guys. All right, guys. Oh, my glasses, and we're back. Welcome mm. to Divine and Conquer. The Holy Thunder, as our campaign name. Um, the girls are out getting some food. They'll be back in a minute. Um, uh, we slightly roleplay a little bit off camera, so we know what we're doing. Um, we've got some little items on our way. We're going to go through those in a bit, but we're going to just assume that the girls are there eavesdropping on them and uh, being uh, fairly themselves and quiet slightly. 
Okay, so, uh, um, passing kind of physical reports. Okay, sorry, where were we? Um, a oh, slight thought I heard the door open. Okay, I guess you guys already hit this part. I just didn't mark it off of my sheet. Okay, okay, and we're gonna start right here. Yeah, you hear footsteps, I think they're coming. Okay, um, so, uh, what are you guys thinking? Like, wh as you're coming in, what, 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 what's your I mentality, just so I get a little feel? I'm a little confused as to why he just recalled us when we were on the path of okay. finding Hola. Okay. The, the bad guys. Alright, what about, what's up? Kind of frustrated. I'm kind of like, wondering like, uh, kind of almost the same thing, but I'm kind of questioning like, okay, like why, like did, why are they bringing us here? Are they hiding something? Did they, is there a reason why oh. we're being brought here? Oh, there better be a reason. Yeah. So how was your sleep last night? <laughs> Wait, I so gonna kill you. were you guys able to get through? No, the minute was going to be 20, a 20 minute wait, so we went there and we came straight back. Uh, I can't do anything. Okay, we can order it and then I'll, I'll look up the... Or we can just get food out the room if we're going to order right. it. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so uh, when, uh, I need to know what you guys are thinking when you guys come in here. Okay, uh, just have a better feel of what like, the, the day is going to be. I'm like, oh, great guys. Oh. Um, he, like, he just like, uh, quickly just rubs his eyes, gets a little bit of, uh, you assume he dips his fingers in ale, throws them at his face, um, and again, yeah, just reeking of tobacco, you know, dirty, uh, oh, like dirty yellow tea, um, yeah, uh, uh, What's his name again? Fralda. I didn't write that down. Um, oh, and, uh, while well, you guys are coming in, I just need to know what you guys are thinking, just to get a better feel of, like, the situation in the room. Okay. Just tension and whatnot, all that stuff. I don't know anything that's happening right now. Okay. Uh, well, you guys are just entering. The oh, Dwarven politician just asked you guys to come in. Oh, okay. So, like, what are you guys thinking as you're coming in? What's up? Oh. Sorry. Bling, bling, y'all. Um, what are you guys, like, thinking? Am I in there? Yeah, yeah you, you guys are just walking up to the Dwarven politician. Oh. We're, we literally just picked up, like, where you guys picked up, and you guys walked in not that long before we just went live. Oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming you're just, like, what, what's happening? Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still just following Yeah, because you guys haven't even met him yet. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. kind of, kind of mad. I'm, yeah, okay. I don't trust politicians or any of that, mm -hmm. so I still have, like, my, my mask on and everything. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just very aware of my surroundings right gotcha. now. Gotcha, perfect, perfect. Okay, so as you guys come in, uh, again, he, he, he dips mm -hmm. his, like, fingers in, like, a little thing of ale, and like, squirting at his face, like, when you guys come in, like, um, like, you, almost like you guys caught him doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, uh, please, uh, um, come in, please, please, please. Uh, uh, would you guys like some ale? There's probably a mug near you, uh, as he gets a swig. What brand is it? Um, it's... <laughs> your brand, <laughs> just I kidding. I don't know, depending on which uh, barrel I got, there's the, the ones from your guild, and then with the Dwarven Skull. Yeah, there's, should be labeled over there. There's a mug somewhere, I don't even know if it's clean. Okay, okay, yeah. Do I notice anything to wrap up, uh, wrap up the room? Because it's like, his, is it his office? Yeah, it's his room? office. Yeah. His okay, office, sorry, the dirty I, dwarf. Um, so, no, the office is meticulously clean, except for cigars and beer everywhere. As you guys are walking in through here, this is just gates. Uh, there's a door here, so like you can open a, a door like in between the gate. And you come in, there's barrels of ale here, um, and they'll have different labels, and one of your guilds is ale is near, and on the bottom, there's just a whole array of wines. The wines actually have a bunch of dust on them. It looks like they've never been touched. Um, these are just support beams. Uh, a little fireplace. The desk is actually has like wood steps all around it, so in every direction you can just walk up to the iron desk. And there is a between these two pillars here, there is a, um, a gold-colored flag that's just being brought down. The things that are illuminating the room is this fire, and then this from the ceiling, this little um, lantern with uh, just a flame on the gas lit. You can easily smell. Um, Roman perception, everybody. I got 13. 13? 18. Okay. I'm gonna reroll my dice fell and like got re moved when I was Okay, okay. It's fine. 14. Okay. What, sorry, what did you get again? 18. 18, okay. 20. 20. Okay. Is it um, double? Um, no, because of your the spit, you're inside of an office, so not really. Okay. Uh, but you roll me an investigation check now. Okay. Only when it matters, it's a ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Okay. Um. 
So you guys, by other than just a reek of tobacco smell and alcohol, uh, actually, um, do you smell some bad jerky? Just like food that's been out too long in addition to everything else. Um, uh, you would even go as close as be like, there is some rotting meat here. Like th this place is not being kept well at all. Like how do you so clean? Yeah. Um, so like everything's clean, just dishes and stuff. Yeah. Um, and the tobacco and all that stuff. Okay. So um, he goes over to you guys. Uh, oh, um, uh, well, what did what did you guys find? Uh, what was our, our our agreement? I have I have the this this scroll here, but what do you obviously? Um, I don't want anyone getting any suspicions and thinking that you guys have ill intent. But I, I am very curious as to what's happening on the mountains. We were just about to depart. We had picked up the trail of those who were oh. here. Uh, it seems that they are down by the river. Um, Which river? I see. Like, do you have the map? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll pull, pull it out, out the map. Blah blah blah. But just for yeah. RP's sake, he's like, "Did you draw on it?" I did. I made okay. some slight. So there's there's the. Uh, as he doesn't move a cup, he just like like that, just puts mm -hmm. it on top of the cup. You can leave this here. Thank you. Uh, just so you guys have a so five mountains, this little river is where you are expecting that, and then this is where your kingdom mm -hmm. is. Okay. That is where I want to find a place to go. And this is where y'all's home is. Mm -hmm. So you said slight alterations. Did you write like best city no, next to Kyoto no, like, with like a bunch of stars? <laughs> Their map was really crudely drawn, and I just made like improvements to like. I made a, f a few adjustments, and then it's like the entire world with yeah, no, it, it's details. A, it went from a crude dwarven map to a gorgeous elven like with map. nice drawings on top of it. Too and much exactly. time on your hands. More, more, uh, more fanciness than there probably should be, but you know, just yeah. it. like it looks um, elvish. Think as everyone falls over dead. Uh, <laughs> okay, just they're a little drunk. Um, yeah. Uh, my apologies. I, I forgot to, to even give you guys a bed and food in the morning. I, I sent a couple of uh, like a uh, uh, guard to go find you. I hope you guys had. Did you guys get food? Oh yes. Did uh, did you yeah, make good sleep? Much. I didn't even make any. It's yeah, so much. Wait. So much to do. There's uh, no need to worry. However. We were just about to set out as your guards came and notify us that you wanted to speak with us as yes. so we returned. I just wanted to know what you guys found. Um, I, I, expect, <laughs> I expected you guys to come last night, mm -hmm. and you guys didn't, and so I sent that for you. We were about to leave to go find something, and now here we are. Well, the mission was to go find out what happened on, on the other side of the hole. I was just it. I didn't expect it's you guys to take the initiative. completely blocked in. There were traces of blood, but that was... I'm sorry this isn't much help, but know. here's a rock with uh, blood to show that there was something that was trying to get out. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry, it's not much, but uh, if you give at us... At least you guys are, you're, do, you're doing your job, that's, that's good. He um, is very charismatic today. Uh, even though how tired he is, he's, he's very, being very cheerful and encouraging as compared to the past couple encounters you've had with him. Um, that's something that you guys definitely noticed. Um, and as you guys are talking, you hear like a clink, 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 clink. Where is my miniature of him? And uh, you see Stoneface just like Ew. bust the, 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 the door open. And um, how uncivilized. Very, very rude too. Frodor! Oh, you guys are good. You guys are here. Good, good, good. We have to speak some words. And he, brother's like, Master Dwarf, we are in a meeting. Can you take it outside? And he just like puts his uh, his flail on top of the map and like knocking over um, a whole bunch of alcohol and just being rude as can be. You sent non dwarves to do a dwarven mission without any equipment. My men did not know of this. What is? She didn't even know. <laughs> 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 he to be fair, she doesn't even know who she is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, like, nonetheless, in Albert territory, oh, our men don't even go to those part of the mountain. Uh, we killed the 
Mother Owlbear that was situated in that area. He did. Like, he, yeah. like his, his immune is like, okay. You won't have to worry about her anymore. As for her cubs, they are now... Ours. Ours. So you don't need to worry about them anymore either. Uh, yeah, I guess don't putting them in the hole. And then you see, like, the father just composes himself, like, like takes a big swig of, like, whatever... Uh, uh, um, cigar that he had on him. He's like, Master Dwarf, I cannot have the authority to derank you, but I can start the quarter martial immediately. But having said that discussion, get out. I don't need quarter martial immediately. Oh. He's like, I assume you have some duties to do. And then you just see Stoneface piss beyond belief. Like you hear the, the the leather and the metal in his like those gauntlets just grab onto his flail, stashes it, looks at you specifically. I smile. And <laughs> mutters something in dwarven. And you just your brother just like Why do you think this guy is angry? I just kinda like look at you and roll my eyes like I'm I'm I didn't say I just look at you. Like I'm pretty sure it's obvious. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, um. Was that a specific roll for something? Or just no, no, that was just a good roll. Okay. You said that he's being like more charismatic than you Yeah, uh, well, you guys don't know that. They will. Oh, they don't, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you, this is the first time that right? you really. You've encountered him, but you didn't speak to him in any He was the dirty dwarf from earlier when we were in the infirmary, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. he's the one that had that little vial in the. He has like. His cloak and his emblem are perfect, but everything else looks worn down. Oh, okay. And he looks even more tired than when you first saw him. Okay. Um, I'm grateful for the information. As you can see, um, why I sent you instead of him. Uh, grumpy as a silly typical dwarf can be. Um, if. You guys were going to go on your mission to find out where the monkey men went. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I was actually going to suggest if it would be for crown, for honor, for coin, for the Iron Hills, for revenge on my fellow dwarves that have fallen. Uh, investigate what happened. Um, I'll, 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 I'll make sure that all the passage is clean from here on out. Uh, I'll write a couple of letters. If you guys could just give me an hour to um, to make those passes so there's no one interferes with you guys. Um, so I, n- I know which part of the forest you're going to and it'll be clean. Uh, yeah, I'd, um, it, whatever you find, don't don't engage if you don't need to. I would hate for any more men to die. What's the payment? Uh, he looks over and just start scrapping over them. Um, I, I can pay you guys 50 gold each for the information. Did you whisper that? Yes. <laughs> you see that he looks at you for a couple seconds. You're not, uh, actually roll me wisdom. It's no one's wisdom. Just gonna kill, <laughs> kill the bad guys or kill? <laughs> the bad guys. Okay. 22. His eyes look really intruding and very uneasy. I, um, yes, of course. Can I roll an inside check on that? Yes. I'm 16. What are you thinking? 16, you said that they, that they looked like, in, like intruding. His eyes are intruding, yeah, yeah. But what, what are you, what is your character thinking right now? Like, what's, what is my what, character thinking? Why doesn't he want us to kill them exactly? Because he doesn't know us. Why would he care if we died? In all honesty, yeah, we're not his yeah. men. Like, why would he give? It? And if we died, then he doesn't have to pay us. Yeah. I what I don't know if you heard me whisper uh, to her. Yeah. Did he just say clean? Like the forest would be clean. Like a oh the the pathway that was like crunched down, right? That's mm-hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If you if you did it, uh, I assume that you guys told the story. And when you're piecing it together, uh, he didn't tell anyone what happened, and because of that. Uh, some miners were not aware of the mission you guys they had, so that's why a whole bunch of rocks cascaded on them because they were working. They don't know, and they thought that the area was clear. 
Oh, okay. That's okay. that's what he means. Sorry, and that's why that's he, wants he meant like clean forest. I was like, what the? Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what he means. Um, I was like, this oh, guy's okay. definitely yeah. OCD. I do want to look at Fradar, and I want to say, um, if we are to go through the tunnel again, we are going to be uh, in need of some climbing gear. I can I can provide that for you. Um, he knows who that was. Um, uh, before he said that to you, uh, when he looked at you very like uneasily, like I, I, you guys have done a great service without understanding, and I, your lives are important too. I wish not to have more bloodshed after um, I think we've hunted eighty dwarves, and including the passive bow that I'm gonna die of. An attack on a peace day is. Uh, well, not, not, not good for, for uh, peace. Not just political reasons, but generally peace, yes. Yeah, so. so it's not shady? N- uh, okay. That's, so yeah, that's what I got with that role? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, his eyes do feel heavy, though. Like, they, they're intrusive, even. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's, yeah. But yeah, he's I just kind of nod my head and don't say anything. Um, they're like, well, anyway, so we'll, we'll apply um, climbing gear for everyone. Um, and uh, I can give you guys a, a, a little bit of ale, uh, of course, um, and some rations and food. I, I don't think that we we'll need any, but just just in case. Um, it's uh, yeah. It's, um, is there anything else that you need of me before I get back to my work? Uh, we do have a lot of injured that I need to uh, account for. And unfortunately, sleep without enough time to remember. As for payment, um, when all this is over. Yes. Yes. I personally am not so much worried as a coin, as we do need a place to stay, and a place to operate out of permanently. Yes. And I'm gonna like show them on the map, kind of the general mm-hmm. area, and say if there is any place, a keep, anything like that around this area that could be provided um, to us at the end of all this, I even at a, at a cost. I think that we, we have some ties with um, uh, an inn called the Spotted Pony, uh, uh, I, I believe. Jamal, I think that's his <laughs> name. Um, I, I, I'll send a message to the, the innkeeper. At, at least for a couple of days, I can provide you guys maybe a week or two uh, stay, so you have a, a an operation piece, as you say. Does uh, he think we're going to be renting that barn? Are you whispering? Yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> he said like for a, like an operation place, and I'm just like, uh, we're not staying with you guys. Yes, he we got an operation. Like, <laughs> yeah, for yes, a week. Quite, um, <laughs> but for those that want to stay there, obviously. Uh, well, um, if there's anything else I can do for you, if not, uh, I have duty to attend to okay. myself. We're good. Okay. Thank you. Blessed be you, my uh, my friend. Blessed be Morden. Which you know is the dwarven god. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off we go. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> I need to get the climbing gear, some rations, rations being me, not for me, but for the bears. Uh, everyone, I remember perception checks one last time as you're leaving. Nineteen. Right. Fifteen. Okay. Eighteen. Not as. Is that a high perception roll? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Mm-hmm. As you're leaving, um, that stench of just rotten hits your stomach in an uneasy way. Um, so you look around and there's just something weird about this dude. Um, I mean, I don't know, there's just something weird about him. You don't, you don't really like him too much. The dirty man? Yeah, the dirty man. Um, and you think it's more than just he's dirty. It's just, he's, yeah. it's uneasy. Now yeah. that you smelled this two it's times. unnatural. Uh, well, the stench in the room is unnatural. Well, not unnatural, that's the wrong phrasing. Um, it just smells of meat too much. Um, but... Knowledge day Okay, well... Only she knows that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen? Um... What did I have written down for it? The only thing that you can from that role is that other than just he might have an addiction problem all the tobacco all the alcohol and then a whole bunch of red meat mm-hmm. so he just um he himself is un- uneasy and then as you're thinking about it the dwarf nurse was also uneasy 
stone face is uneasy, you, you come to the conclusion that it's just people are being overworked for sure here, and it's not fair and good for anyone. But that's what you you conclude as you know those three and a half seconds as you're walking out. He's the he's the sheriff or the um he uh, well he actually never told you specifically what his title was, but uh, I I will assume that in passing you guys spoke. He is uh, the representative of that mountain. He is the house speaker of that mountain. Oh, okay. So he's not the king, but he is the voice of the mountain. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're off. Okay. All right. So I'm in gear and then I'm good to go. Okay. Um, before you guys get your climbing gear and ask my foot is asleep, um, I'm going to move your characters out here for a second. The ba- the, it was going to be 50 gold, right? Uh, yeah, you will get 50 gold. Yes. Yeah. That's what he okay. promised. Lowe's is safe. Yeah. yeah. You see that, like, towards the corridor over here, like, on the, on the, like, the edge of the pillar? Oh, come on, it's stay. Yeah, he, he's just, like, standing, like, like, just anticipating you guys as, you know, his huge chest and just big dude, especially for, you know, the old guy is looking in. And, like, he waits as you guys are coming out. He notices you guys. You guys make eye contact. And he's like, he mentions you guys, you know, you come over here. Okay, I do so. Okay. Okay. Does anyone want to call? I'm gonna follow. I'll follow. I'll follow. But... And what what happened? Well, uh, you're probably not supposed to know. I'm so sorry, my friend. Um, but as you hear, like like his um, just like <laughs> metal probably clicking, probably getting a little tired. I'm just gonna stand in front of KB. So why weren't you in the meeting with us then? Is there a particular reason? <laughs> I <laughs> don't know, and I want to find out. I just this, didn't know if there was... This holds are going mad. We had a folk be attacked by some miners. We had unlicensed gold miners trying to reach the mountain yesterday. Um, I just want to know what's happening in my own mountain. Who's really in charge of this place? Kings, at least, of this five of them. When are they Yes, but they're not here at the moment. Where, Where are they? I, I don't How know. How long have they been gone? Mm. <laughs> oh, a lot. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> less, uh, less than a month or so, they went on vacation. Uh, <laughs> they on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Did these attacks start after we left? Yes. Okay. Looks at you very like. <laughs> Interesting. Well, my friend. Yeah, there's one thing that us dwarves definitely do. It's follow the chain of command. As you would know, I Commander Al. I'm just joking. So we take our job very seriously. And when there is something going wrong in my mountains, when people are getting hurt under my watch, mm-hmm. that's what they will tell me. Is there a problem between you and the dirty dwarf? I mean, Frodo. <laughs> Well, I mean, why wouldn't he want you in a meeting with him? Just out of curiosity. Ever so since I can fully his understand. addiction has gotten worse, he's been. No oh, addiction. What do you mean by that? What can you not tell? No, I can definitely tell. Could you enlighten, you enlighten me a bit? Is it just the. He's the not booze? drinking enough like a normal dwarf. It's not himself. I'm sorry? <laughs> not drinking enough? <laughs> it looks like very, like. Odd, like. Um, is it an addict? So it's an addiction to not <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I'm. You've lost me, good sir. <laughs> Us dwarves <laughs> tend to drink quite a bit, and he's. Oh, he's interested in all the mugs bad. that are out there. It's not part of the situation. So it's water in those mugs. I don't even know if it's wine or cow shit in those okay, mugs. Okay, so his addiction but is to not drinking. I understand now. Like, <laughs> Do you say that? <laughs> you see, like, no. Let's, let's not go that far. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, mean, I really wish it was. Think, that would be um, pretty cool. I just kind of step in front of Mike. I, I apologize <laughs> for them. No, Mr. Stoneface, no um, we are going to hunt down <laughs> those responsible for character. the attack at the festival. That is what he has requested of us to do. What are you going to? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, Mr. Here. Stoneface, uh, as... Uh, we don't want you or Very any more. Right now. I don't want My you character. or any more doors. He looks at you and then just stares <laughs> back at you. What are you going? <laughs> the other one, I, I don't think we should. I believe it's fine. And we weren't specifically told we could. 
could not tell. Uh, what rank is he right now? Um, he is uh, so uh, we'll discuss that. He's slightly above your rank, uh, but not terribly. Um, <laughs> You're like, um, never mind, don't tell him. Just because uh, we need to discuss exactly. It's a need to know basis. Oh. <laughs> and you don't need to know. <laughs> know. Um, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do I need to roll anything? Probably not, right? Uh, no, uh, so, no. uh, do, do you want to go over the ranks right now? Uh, yeah, sure, why okay. not? Since Be- we're on the topic. Because, uh, so, in your backstory, you said that you were a uh, commander. Yes. Commander is like a couple levels underneath commanding in an army. Uh, so, based on your level, we can reword what the word commander means, uh, but, um, let me see, let's go further down. Uh, I also wrote down little emblems that will define exactly what they are. So, uh, you're the guy that you wanted to emulate, instead of him being, uh, so we, we wrote that as, as general, okay. So he, the, the rankings that we have, so I can read them. So, you know, private, second private, those don't have any markings on it. Then there's um, Lance Corporal, Sergeant. Sergeant will be the category of a captain, so your, your rank. So that will be, in the military, we consider Sergeant. It will go inside with Captain. KV is a Staff Sergeant that he has on him. And that's, that, that's the thing that, that angers, that he has that rank on there. And it literally is, you have one little symbol, versus he have, they have two. He, Stoneface, has three, which is Master Sergeant. He has ranking above him. Uh, versus, like, the, the dude in the middle would have um, a, uh, a corporal one. Same as the guy that you uh, that you want to emulate. Okay. So he would do the same ranking as uh, your uh, general. <coughs> Just so, so it's not like he's higher up too much, but he does have a little bit more flow. And yeah. that, to you, just means that he is specifically in charge of organizing who goes at where, how the tactics are fought, but has a chain of command that he himself follows. Okay. And you would know, maybe not all those details, but you know bits and pieces of that, since you were just kind of honored a rank without really being given the training for it. Right. And you guys don't, they're just shiny shit on the shoulder. <laughs> Look, Mr. Stoneface, I don't mean to have a uh, issues with you, but then don't. Uh, I, me and my, well, me and Elrond have to go, uh, and and Farah and Telly. Yeah, just we're be careful. Go. As like you hear whispers, uh, like uh, another dwarf runs up to him, and um, you, you can easily hear him like, uh, sir, we found some Ivar cubs, and there was a sign saying not to harm them. <laughs> Is that okay? There was, was like, a sign saying. I just turned back around, like. <laughs> he looks at him like, they're fine. Oh, also, KB, you don't know my name yet. I haven't told you. Oh, Only all around me. Okay, I'm just like in them too. You wrote it in common, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then he looks at you like random elf girl. <laughs> okay, whatever. Random girl with the thing on her face. And the okay. Awesome little one. Anyways. Pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome little one. Be careful. You know, to the size of the world. Did, wait, did you? No, you never mentioned where you guys were going, right? Yeah, we never. Okay. I was interrupted. Be at peace, then. Please forgive me. And he grabs eyes. Are you gonna like like hold him or like that? Because well, you moved your arm. That's why. Because okay. he's about to walk and just like grab a flask and take a swig by the back. I'm pretty much like, please forgive me. He uh, he looks at you, takes a swig. Motions if you want one, but will not shake your hand. Sure. This is our first time I'm ever drinking this. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. Roll me, roll me constitution. Uh, save. Like oh. oh my god. Oh my goodness. It is disgusting. It is gross and burns your throat. And for the next 10 minutes, you're going to get a buzz. Just from that oh one god. swig. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should have told him you were getting drunk. Elrond, I've never drank But what's before. the fun in that? <clears throat> and he walks away. Do you say that out loud? <laughs> hey, I never drank before. <laughs> I never said like, okay. I, I don't say that loud, I just whispered to him. Okay. You see some face kind of like, like hesitate for a second and then continue walking. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're off. Okay. Um, um, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. carriage. Yeah, so uh, you guys uh, met, You guys are gonna spend oh, the, the money gems. to get the carriage? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. Right. You, everyone add um, uh, climbing gear to your uh, inventory. Woo! 
Um, how many of their rations increase it by five rations? And add a second water skill. K, you specifically will also get a torch. Okay. I already have one. Like, yeah. Okay. Unless you you deny the torch. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll okay. Have another torch this time. Okay. Cool. Um, because they, they do wear out. Um. Okay. So you guys go, and it's gonna take about an hour or two to get the carriage, and um, you can attach it to his horse, and everything's fine with it. Um. Uh. And there's uh, actually roll me a d6. Uh. Yeah, since it's your carriage. Six. Six. It actually has enough room for six beds. Oh, wow. So oh, it's geez. plenty. Uh, it's a little hallway, and then just six little, uh, so it's uh, three cubbies um, uh, on, on each side. Nice. Uh, and it doesn't really have much room for that. Um, you can easily make, like, a bed cubby, so, like, you know, bunk, instead of bunk beds, triple beds. Um, but you can, you know, one of those can be, you can just store your stuff in there or Sweet. whatever you want to do. You can rearrange it any way you want. Um, Since I don't really need to sleep, I mean, I'll give yeah. that to the owl bears or mm-hmm. equipment. Uh, and it does have a lantern uh, in the front and a lantern in the back as well. Um, and it, it comes with a saddle for your horse. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys buy that pretty much. Um, and Very it, nice. Yeah. It does have a uh, a chain on the back as well, so you can lock, and then a chain in the front as well, so you can lock. And it has a little uh, key as well. So all that information. Uh, was there anything that you needed to get as well? No, just that. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Uh, I am. Okay. What, what are you getting? I'm looking. I'm looking for a healer's kit. Split it. Okay. What, uh, the cost of it, you said. It would probably be in tools. So flip the liver. No, over I have it. Oh, we're okay. getting fifty gold. I'm just telling you what I'm. So yeah, I'll give okay. you my. Right. 50 that, I mean, yeah, you find that easily yeah. enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give him my fifty for him. To, uh, we're gonna split the carriage. Okay. Just mark it off your character sheet. And I just sell all my gems for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, you. Because um, I would not be able to. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. In this mountain, gems would be equivalent to gold as well. Um, and uh, you would get the, the price that we discussed last night. Awesome. Yeah, so everything's all fair then. And then obviously, Linda, whenever you're done, just work <laughs> off how much gold you guys have. You guys are in the good belly. Um, oh, also add a, uh, a um, not a tinker, but a small barrel of dwarven ale that was given to each one of you guys, if you choose to receive it or not. Okay. Yeah, I'll so take it. I'll put it in the carriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can just leave it in there. What they'll tell you, hey, give me, uh, you should like fill this up with your booze because uh, if they don't have any with them right now, I don't know. Do you? Did you guys save any of y'all's brewers alcohol? Yeah. The specific one. Okay. I mean, you I get, have a, I have it like in a small like flask right here. I was yeah, trying okay. to okay. Uh, sample it. Yeah, because they're they're giving you like like a you know like a barrel that would save like three pints worth of dwarvish yeah. alcohol in there. Um, you can save it or do whatever you wish with it. Um, yeah, that's 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 there for y'all's disposal. Okay. I'm gonna save it and I'm just gonna sell it in town. All right, fair enough. Sounds I'll good. I'll sell mine eventually because I'm more of a wine kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't drink other people's. Uh, unless yeah, unless you guys refuse any of the things that they're giving you, that this is just what they're offering. And yeah, I'm taking it. So uh, everything I can get, it. even like armor and weapons off dead guys. I'm just gonna store in the carriage and sell it later on. Okay, yeah, that does it. Everything. Okay. So uh, are you guys gonna be off on your mission, Linda? You're super important right now. Yep. Yeah. For all okay. mission. Um, nothing else specific before you guys head on your mission. Nope. So all together, you guys mm-hmm. probably took about two hours to get ready. Um, so what time is it now? Food. It's been like so it's. Mm, I want to make sure that I'm back by. It's m- probably by one p.m. right now. A l- so you know, not as far as the sun of the day is gone. So it's about one. Can we go so. back and put the albers in there already? In the carriage? Yeah. If is that what you guys want to do? You, you can do that real totally. Quick? Um, that would we know I'd rather person. not, because if they wake up and they're in, in the carriage, they might. Freak out. Um, also, somebody could steal the carriage. You also <laughs> do know that uh, there, uh, before you guys head out, when uh, the halfling sees you guys with the carriage, uh, you know, halfling, that the part of the woods that you guys are going, uh, that carriage is not going to be fun to take with you. Yeah, now I'm leaving it in the Dwarven City. Yeah. Okay. I'm locked up probably with the guards or where the stables are. Okay. Yeah, so I'm yeah. coming. You talk to some of the guards um, with a little bit of fluff and, and uh, um, Persuasion from KV, they they agree to keep it with no charge. Um, you guys mentioned the owl bears, and you know it takes a couple of minutes to convince them that it's okay. But then another guard, he comes in, you know, from Stone Face himself. Oh, okay, all right, well, well, I guess well, we won't send anyone up there. But uh, just to let you guys know, if they attack us, we'll we'll defend ourselves, but we won't kill it. Um, we'll 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 make sure that all the men have a net, you know, for tonight, just okay. to try to restrain them if need be. Thank you. Uh, 
Thank okay, you, cool. With all that, uh, can you guys grab y'all's characters and your uh, carts? And we're going to pursue on the next part. Yay. We're working as a team. Woo. Now I need to find a place eventually. I think Elrond's eventually going to be nice to me. Eventually. Oh. I'll eventually he'll maybe. be forced into it. He's like, you know what, Katie's not that bad. Okay, he's not a bad guy. He's just a little misunderstood. <laughs> he's just a little <laughs> douche sometimes. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? He's just a little what? He's just a little douche sometimes. Who, <laughs> Kate? Yeah, that's what the owl says, right? Hola. That. Oh, cute. <laughs> that's adorable. This is how I watch the character. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like, no one is gonna, no highway robbers are gonna want to, like, attack us. We have owl bears on the carriage <laughs> with us. Yeah, I mean, plus KB at the top of the carriage. <laughs> You're just riding on the roof. The owl bears are, like, peering out the windows <laughs> and stuff. It's like, you really shouldn't try oh, this. Oh, dude, what if that's, like, an art, like, just, like, them two, like, uh, on like what on like the windows oh, and the owl bears on the other window. I'm going to commission art with my character. With the owl bear. <laughs> what? Okay, like, that's just too adorable. Me at the top uh, of the carriage. So each one of these is. Uh, oh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, my dice. Um, I'll pick it up later. Oh. All right. I mean, uh, as I'm going to start, you can get it right now. Um, I can't read. So these this is gonna be different little scenes uh, that are, are pre-drawn. So uh, okay. what this is looking at is um, you definitely smell you know the thick pine here, little critters here and there. Uh, the winds are very strong on this specific side since the mountains aren't blocking a lot of it mm -hmm. nothing dangerous but just something that you're a little bit more aware of you're you know, you, you know where to go uh you know how to follow the smell of the river so you're 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 in your territory mm -hmm. obviously um every now and then you guys will definitely run up to like a little family deer or harris that uh, uh surprisingly except for priya uh, you guys are walking a lot faster than you would expect and as you're following her um, she's just making the path easy for sure you guys are not being slowed down in any way shape or form um, which you normally would mm -hmm. uh, so I would have whoever has survival as a train skill please roll me survival which would definitely oh, be me? Yes. Not yeah yeah you, you who, wait, who does and who does not? You do survival? Yeah. I don't. Okay, okay. So it's just, just y'all two. Okay. What did you get? I got 18. 18? Okay. All right. Good. It's double rate. 15. Yes, yes. 15? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, so you guys are good. Um, as you guys are walking, you roll me uh, a perception check. Uh, I'm going to divide this up right here. Hmm. Can you move your sheet just a tad bit? Okay, cool. Making sure. Okay. Twelve. Two. Twelve. Okay. Uh, that actually passes. Oh. Okay. Um, so as you guys are walking uh, in the forest, um, and you're tr tracking down footprints, you you know that the first 20, 30 minutes is just gonna be you mindlessly looking until you find that one hint to lead the path. So that's that's pretty much what you do. And surprisingly, he's helping out a lot. Um, he's helping cover ground faster than you would suspect. Um, a little uneasy because he's human as well, but he's helping more than you would want. Um, and as you're walking, you definitely notice, um, y'all definitely notice that this brush over here is unnaturally clean. Uh, as you notice that there is a small little, like, string on the floor that Elrond is about to step on. Right, I'm just gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the back of back of his of his like armor or cloak and just pull him back. Okay. Um, as you get pushed back a little bit. Um, so yeah, you do notice that right here, is there that? is just like string on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody move. And then I'm just gonna. Then I'm just going to get down. And just kind of investigate it. Can I follow it? Uh, yeah, these? you can follow. It, it's going from this tree to this tree. From that tree to that tree? Okay, do I see like what's gonna happen? Like, is anything in the, like, um, like a log or anything? Sur survival, both of you guys again, and then you roll me a perception check. Um, and now that you are aware of it, you can roll. Everyone gets advantage Ooh. except for the elf. Uh, 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 the cleric. Natural 20. Natural 20, okay. Advantage, you said? Yeah, you get an advantage. Okay, that was an 18. 16. Ooh, I'm going with the 18. 18. 18 past. 25. Pass. 25. Okay. Um, uh, this. To you, uh, so here's what we're gonna notice. Uh, 
Uh, what did you get, Errol? 16. 16? Okay, you also see. Um, after this. So, a little further away, um, you definitely notice that there's two glass vials on, like, uh, a small little string on top of two rocks each. And the thing that catches everyone's eyes. Um, oh, blue is not a good color for it. Let me use. Like two vials, you said? Yeah, two vials of uh, a reddish liquid. Hold them by a string, like on top, uh, and it looks super thin. And then just the thing that catches your eye is you see little pebbles all around, and then all in between here, just dry leaves. Uh, as this strikes, nothing that you've ever encountered in the Thieves' Guild, obviously, crude trap from you. This is very. Um, safe. You're imagining that these rocks are going to whatever's gonna happen, trap that in these rocks. Does anyone have knowledge or arcana? As you also gather that this is some type of forest trap that you but you don't know really what it is. Uh, and everyone sees those rocks, the clear, the the, the just the dry, specifically dry uh, leaves all around, and then the two little vials at the end. It took you a second to notice it. Um, as it was camouflage, but obviously not well enough. Yeah. Does anyone have knowledge or arcana? No. 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 Okay. So yeah, you just see those little liquids. Can I take the vials like off? Just. Uh, you would have to go all the way around if you want to do so. Hmm. Nobody. What? No, I'm going like on the right through it. Right Break that stream. If we go around and take those files, we can probably tell. You can probably take it apart, maybe. Like a try. Alright, roll me, um... Let me with your thief tools. Look like these tools? Mm -hmm. So it would be perception plus, uh, dexterity. Is, I think that's what it would be. Which okay. tools. Do I just want to disable the device? No, it's you, you, so like, instead of like, roll to like heal, you're using your herbalism kit. She's using her thief tools to Okay, so it's my um, so dexterity it's, it's plus perception? Herbalism yes, thing? it's not technically a skill check as more as a tools check. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tools. Mm -hmm. But like, her, your thief tools 24. and, uh, and the, uh, the value of her thief tools will be to like, open a lock, versus hers is specifically to disarm things. Mm -hmm. And take things apart, mm -hmm. or readjust things a slight bit. 24. 24. All right, easily enough. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go. You, you, from looking over here, you step over the string, walk around, um, notice that, uh, just test out the boundaries a little bit where the dry brush is, and you know that this is just grass, uh, of the, mm -hmm. the, there's actually no grass down there, it's just the leaves. Mm -hmm. So you're imagining that whatever's gonna start this is supposed to affect with the leaves. Uh, and then you manage to, you know, easily enough, get the vial cut, the vial is in there, you test it a little bit as a little swirl, and you're quickly about to release it just to keep the throw it out, and nothing happens with the swirl. Uh, and then it's safe enough. You smell it, it has some uh, acidicness to it. Um, maybe smoke as well. And then you get, so you have two of those vials now. Okay, right. is there like a little um, like a cork in it? There's a cork on it, and the vial is a thin glass. A thin glass, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, would they be safe in my bag of, of holding? Uh, you think yes, uh, and if anything were to happen, it will affect the bag versus affect you. It would affect the bag instead of me? Yeah, it, you, you suspect. Worst case scenario, the bag gets ruined on the inside, but I'm safe. We're safe. Okay. If you want to put them in there. Okay. You think we should hold them in case an enemy comes? You're right, KB. Here you go. <laughs> well, you should hold on to them for safekeeping. You have the most armor. <laughs> yes, but I'm the only one who can protect y'all. Don't you have, do you, is there anywhere that you could place them? Like, don't you have a bag As they're you? talking, I just grab one out of his hands, and they're like the, the small little... Yeah, like they're, a little they're, tube? Yeah, they're, oh. um, they're like little <laughs> triangular. And you have arrows, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Do I have like a tiny little frog? <laughs> a frog? <laughs> frog, yeah, you know, a little... A tiny pocket? Little, yeah, like... A um, <laughs> pocket? Sure, if you want. Um, it, it won't fit in a pocket. Um, it's, it's, it don't uh, fit a pocket. It, it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably like the size of her dice bag, so it's it's just you know, uh, yeah, it's tiny, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but it it, it contains. Well, do you have I'll just hold it in my hand. Okay, you can hold it in your hand. Yeah, in case an enemy comes, I'll just throw it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about the other one? 
I was gonna <laughs> grab an arrow out of her quiver while we're talking and tie. You can't the find vial anything in my head. quiver. Oh, is it one of those like? like She's bowling? got a magical one. Yeah, she has magic quiver. Oh, that's right. It's fancy stuff in there. <laughs> he just finds buckets. Yeah, you go like, are you gonna like try to pull it out like without her, like? Yeah, I'll try to pull it out. Pull out a little piece of bread. Hey, be your thick, be brave. That's what they're saying. I'll just put it back. Okay, so, not gonna work. so who's gonna, are, if you guys are gonna carry it, who's gonna carry it? I guess I'll carry it. I'll get both of them or just one? Yeah, both of them. Okay, write on your carrier sheet two A and then potion. Or two A flask. Sorry, two A flask. Um. You don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, huh? Okay, uh, sure. can the. Can you guys roll for uh, survival again? Sixteen. Okay, you pass. Oh, wait. Survival? Yeah. Yeah, the one that. Eighteen. Okay. I mean, it's still pass. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, pass as well. Um, actually, uh, roll me percentile as well. Of something specific that I can't mention right now. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay. Okay. Um, can you move these little guys over there? For a second. Okay. So you put your characters here in any way that you want. Um, as right you're yeah. um walking by, Alinda, you manage to. Uh, find some footprints over here, um, and uh, this is the first. So here's here's the thing, you you're following a path, but as you're going, I think uh, this is about like the, an hour that you guys have been in here. Uh -huh. um, a lot of the brush and or feet trails, which you're finding easily, and you're having you're still finding it so far, but you're you're having to use her cues to pinpoint exactly what you're gathering mm -hmm. and uh, like what, what branch is being broken and all that stuff. But if there's a branch being broken, it looks like it was put back into its place and until you test it out, then it breaks. Oh. Or the, the feet print, you know they're a feet print, but they're brushed off. Uh, this is the first set that you see that are clear and maybe overlooked. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it's still going towards the river, but slightly askew um, from what you would expect from the conversation it gets had early. Mm -hmm. um, does it look like it's like actually like forgotten, or does it look like it was intentionally? It, for right now, it looks like it was intentional. Um, and the reason why it says intentional is because when you look at these, these look like orc markings, mm -hmm. like orc feet patterns. Great. I hate orcs. I know. Like Bonuses to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you, but this is the thing. Everything else previously mm -hmm. was um, clever, mm -hmm. um, and it looks like they just maybe just forgot, or he, or she, they just that. All you know that these are a couple orc prints, and then nothing, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know you have to continue on scouting ahead. But that's what you gather from it. You just see some footprints. Right. Um, they're pretty big. You know, not a giant. Not monkey man feet. But yeah, they're definitely not monkey. Man. They're they're too sunken in and just too wide. As while they're walking, Priya slightly trips over and lands on you. Oh, My sorry. Can <laughs> I uh, do I know how long ago they passed by here? Uh, yes, actually. I am a roll me a d4. That's considering that that's part of my thing. Roll me a d4. Oh, cut you. They passed here about three hours ago. So fresh. Very fresh. Um, and you think that they're moving fast, too. Okay. Uh, brushed. These are orcs' feet. That's what I said. They should point at it like, say it angrily. As angry as you guys have probably ever heard her. Orcs feet. Do you know how long ago? Whoa. Human <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's an extremely yeah. perfect description of like humans, but orcs, yeah. That's pretty good. Kelly, Whoa, do you know how long ago? Three hours ago. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, obviously. I knew that. Oh, thank you. 
That's what she says. How many of them is there, Jesus? It says I can, if I'm tracking a specific creature now. I don't. You actually. Or is it because I can't tell exactly? Tell. You. You want to say one, mm -hmm. but there's no way one person could be doing all this. Never or. Hmm, I wonder if the monkey men are working with the orcs. That will be very uh, interesting. Does it look like there was any, like, uh, like a, maybe a, a fight or anything like that? Then it looks like maybe the people that I was tracking got captured. Roll me a perception meter. Yeah. <laughs> no. Perfect. Perfect human dog. Nine. No. Okay, the people that pass, roll me. If you have nature, roll me nature. <laughs> oh, if we have nature. If you have nature. Oh, if we have nature. Yeah. I am nature. <laughs> I am nature. <laughs> <laughs> and she rolls a natural five. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Much nature. So wow. All right, but it's still a pass. Okay. Um. So. Uh, we're just gonna use here, so I don't, I don't so really want to take much of our seven. Um, actually, uh, you guys, as you're looking, um, Elrond, you, um, definitely, I want to make sure for any moves that they, right, so Elrond, uh, you actually see that there is a whole bunch of, like, a dug up pile? Like, it, it's, it's coming upwards. Um, as he's going over there, like, you know that whatever, that, uh, the, so, here. Let's just say this is a pile, mm -hmm. and it looks like it's dug up, like mounted dirt on top of it. Um, maybe half a foot, but it's pretty wide, like two or three people wide. Uh, and as he's going over there, you notice this as well, Linda. Uh, he is going straight for a very specific plant that is known for eating people. No. Oh. Uh, he's, oh, he's not there yet. He's just like walking over as he's noticing this. Yeah. But you notice that plant immediately. Elf. Elf! Yes. Elf, don't go that way. Don't touch it. They'll eat you. As touch when it. She, you say that, that smell of rotten meat oh. hits you again. Oh! That you warm. smell rotten meat. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? No. Uh, I don't say that out loud. I'm gonna look at it. Mm -hmm. look and, like it earth. just looks like a plant, but also when you're looking downward, you see like an array of like Venus flytraps all around this plant. Oh jeez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. So I look at it, I look at her. Can I burn it? I look back at it. I mean, you can't. Sacred flame. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, Don't roll, roll, uh, roll, <laughs> mid roll. Yeah. Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> Matt, what are you doing? Look You're like trying to burn the forest? It? Uh, hey, okay. Roll me damage and then double it. Jesus. Oh. Do the orc's feet look yeah. like they're going towards it? No. They look like they're going away from it? Uh, roll me insight. Ten radiant damage. That's double. Yes. Okay. So, and you see that the the plant starts moving and like it's uh, uh like it looks like hands just fall off and burn and it's uh and starts withering down and then it stops moving again you as uh, like you you can tell that it took part of itself out so that can burn down but it's still like like it moved. Six Can you have it? It's a cantrip, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just say that you burnt it after a while, um, and it won't move towards you guys. Okay. Uh, what did you get on your insight? 18. 18. This is, knowing orcs, mm -hmm. this is a good enough distance to throw something at it without being close enough to get hit by it. Oh, okay. So that's, that's what you gather. And maybe that's why the imprints of the feet are so well sunken in right now, mm -hmm. because he has to, she has to stop, throw, Continue on this way. Oh. oh, they feed the plant. It's like a sacrifice for them. Gotcha. <laughs> is it dead? Yeah, after a couple confused. minutes, it's dead. I'm, it I'm just confused to why there was a sacred plant thrown at us. Yeah, um, um, do you explain what's happening? I assume you guys Yeah, do. I said okay. it's gonna eat you. Oh, yeah. So oh, I walk yeah. to oh. it. Just Situation is explained to y'all. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I'm gonna walk over to forward. it and see if there's like any remains that haven't been burnt to pieces. <laughs> um, there. When you go over to the the pile, mm -hmm. you see. Um, 
you don't even have to roll for this one because you all see it. It's a whole bunch of lizard folk that are melted, a lot of them to the bone, hmm. and they're just being buried there. Yeah, they found the lizard folk. <laughs> Can I check their bodies for anything? They're they're, 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 oh, they're all melted. Yeah, they're oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know they're like halfway or anything. No, no, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're pretty much almost all of them melted. Do you think we should take this out on just like for proof? It takes no, photo we don't really need it, right? <laughs> 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 got it. Show the cops later. <laughs> I got a magical uh, item here. I'm going to take a pic of this, whatever this okay. picture <laughs> is. I'm all right. Uh, so for the sake of uh, time, um, we're gonna proceed a little bit because I know you will not be here next week and you will not be here next week as well because uh, of the con. Is that correct? Yeah. Next Friday. Okay. Uh, for the sake of that, we will move forward a little bit. Okay. Um, just see me just like crush one of the skulls in of the lizard folk with my boots okay. as we walk off. Yeah, we like, can very fine. purposeful, okay. like step right on. Um, it. Roll me uh, survival one last time. The people that have survival. Eighteen. Yes, nine. Okay, both of you pass. Okay. Uh, we're gonna uh, move over here. Um, okay, so you actually, both of you, uh, nature, do you have knowledge of nature? Uh, yeah, that's uh, what you've been rolling. I'm survival, actually. Okay, uh, so roll knowledge of nature. Oh, okay. you, you find this, Swimming but she's gonna see if you can see what it is, right? Done with you. Oh, I'm a uh, halfling, so I reroll. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, the thirteen. With I know it, you have at least plus four plus everything else. So yeah. you can pass with that. <laughs> um, so this is actually what you find. Um, you find droppings, uh, like nowhere that near here you find any like fecal matter or anything like that. And you know that this is a sign of animals, obviously, right? Yeah. But th the thing is, you were tracking down these monkeymen that you weren't focusing on the natural critters that live here. This is a first sign of natural critters, and it's deer-like to you. This is not a deer. Mm -hmm. You might think this is a moose. A moose? A moose. Are moose common in this area? No, not at all. They're further north, a lot further north. It is too warm for one here. Huh? Uh, and then I would like someone to roll me a d4. I'm gonna freaking capture this moose and make him a pet. Sure. Okay. Roll me reflex. No, the the person that should have should yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's where's reflex? Uh, sorry, dexterity, dexterity okay, save. Okay. Apologies. Welcome back, Miko. Hey, Miko, what up, girlfriend? Uh, Seventeen. So, okay, that passes. As you're looking, it's like the first is like they're touching poop, <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear a, and then you just turn, and your instincts tell you to move further as fast as you can and right by your face a axe just go oh. and like it's <gasps> a huge just <laughs> hit as there is an orc oh, am I not alert? It's that just like threw an axe stupid orc and he's like grabbing for his spear it's killing time why are you guys following me uh what do you uh yeah roll me initiative everyone Mine, mine were rolling really bad. I did do it. Skills. This thing is like a 2D or mm. something. Like, jeez. Hey, there we go. Mm -hmm. Nope, I rolled one. Mm -hmm. Okay, did anyone get 19 or higher? Now I can't. Now I'm gonna this. Okay. I got a 22. Okay, 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Rather than rolling that, this was too light. Telly. I don't like rolling this. Can you write down? <laughs> and Telly, Freya. Just put Telly. Okay. Telly, Freya. I got uh, a Fira? Fira. I'm gonna always mispronounce it and I apologize. F Y R A. Uh, half orc. Frieza. What's Frieza. Uh, what did you gentlemen get? I got a uh, 17. I got a 2. Okay. <laughs> so, Telly, Freya, half orc, K, and then Elro. That's my dex. Come on. Telly, what are you doing? Mm, trying to figure out what primal awareness is in. Okay. Um,. He just has his hand on his spear and asks you guys, what are you, why are you following me? And he has his hand up. Talk nicely. <coughs> <coughs> we're just 
looking for a monkey. A monkey guy. A monkey thing. Okay. Moose. <laughs> a moose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She said moose. Like, as soon as that thing said. As soon as that thing like hit the thing mm-hmm. and would you the axe. Yeah, it, so it went <laughs> right here on this tree. Right. And it's 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 thick. And it's big. Yeah, it's a big axe. It's a thick axe. It's almost a thick axe. Okay, so I, I, I already immediately already pulled out both of my short of my short swords. And he did a little twisty twist. Uh, can I? And yeah. mm-hmm, he did a little twisty twist with them. I said, uh, if you ever throw them, if you ever throw your spear, I your, can throw my. These are daggers for me to throw. These are uh, representation of where they're gonna fall. Yes. Oh, we're actually, geez. when you put them on the board, they're, they're pretty freaking big. But oh, it's just geez. an easy, clear representation. Yeah. yeah. Oh jeez. Okay. I'm gonna give you a second one just in case. Okay. You throw two javelins. Okay. All right, sweet. So I, these are my short swords that I have okay. to, to kind of like look cool, you know? Okay. Like, I don't know why you're throwing an axe at my head. Okay. Half of Sorn. Obviously. I have my own plans. <laughs> and you see that he's getting really, really agitated. And he's breathing super heavy. Oh, I was going to hold an action. What's your action? And just if he went, if he like charged, if he charged at us. That I was going, that I was going to attack with my short sword. Okay. Dual blade them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh. Who's uh next? My. Okay. What are you gonna do, Kate? So, um, first for an action, if he does any attack movements, I get in front uh, with my shield to take okay. the damage. Uh, but I say uh, to him, "Easy there. We're we're just hunting down a uh, monkey man. Do you know anything about it?" Yeah. Are you gonna do anything? Sp- in addition, uh, Elrond? No, that was pretty much what I was going to say. Okay. That we're not trying to follow you. We're searching for... As you guys see that he's yeah. like clenching his spear tightly, and he's like slowly raising it almost to like, like, you know, throw it back. He does not think he's going to do a 1v6 or a 1v4. A moose just walks right in front of him. I said moose. I said <laughs> orc, moose, everything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, you're going to kill it. No! Now it's a It just pet. goes, looks at you. And he, this thing is huge. You've never seen a moose in your life, uh, uh, Telly. This looks bigger than what you imagine. It just looks enormous. Like his horns can easily carry KB. He can like, sleep oh, in there. Awesome. And he just goes, looks at you guys. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome to the party. <laughs> the half orc just. <laughs> That's not intimidating at all. <laughs> <laughs> he goes over, gets the horns of the moose. Cool. That way. <laughs> Embarrass me. Is that you? Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's a pretty moose. Thank you. <laughs> Had it for a while. I'm all like, <laughs> So he said half orc. Okay, That's so why everything was very mixed in between human and orcish. You didn't know which one it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't hate him as much. Actually, I hate him double. double. You hate him double. <laughs> I mean, really. that sounds about appropriate. Yeah, you hate him double. <laughs> he has a moose. I hate him. I don't trust him. That's me right now. Um, yeah. As much as I. And then like he him. just like yeah. carries over the moose. Like, what about monkeys that you're fuck with? Tell me. I have no idea. And he, I like, he, what he, he just he, said. Uh, what about monkeys that you're following? Oh, and then, okay. Uh, he grabs his spear and like he's still with his hand out. Slowly, like sheathing it. They attacked, and then he like stands straight. And when he stands straight, he's rivaling a Goliath in size. Oh my! Hello. <laughs> he he doesn't step forward. He's just like all the way out there. Um, one thing that you do see is that he's he does have uh, a lot of peach fuzz around him. He um he has m- a lot more orc than human in him, but he looks young, mm. um, younger than you for sure. Um, I mean, younger than y'all. Actually, uh, younger than everyone here. Yeah. He I'm looks, mm. he looks younger, you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm just going to sheathe both of my swords, but then my daggers, I, I like, low-key put them, like, up my sleeves. Okay. So you can't see them. Yeah. Okay. Sure. They yeah. attacked a peace festival and killed a lot of innocent people. I saw. You saw? Mm-hmm. The blizzard hunting them down. They killed some of my people, too. Do you want to maybe team up just for now to find these things, and then we can go our separate ways without any harm? No. I whisper really quietly to Kree, to Freya. 
If you don't know anything, then you can be on your way. Oh, oh really? <laughs> he looks at you, smiles. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> She's a rat. Um, or what's uh, K? What's a, what's your homeland? K. Uh, Kionin. Kionin. What do you know, Kionin? And he smirks. Oh jeez! <gasps> oh shit! Your hometown is dying. Oh no! Did your fiance die too? <laughs> <laughs> Immediate <laughs> <laughs> No. I got you, Elrond. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are you talking about? He smiled. The lizard folk weren't the first to be asked to do this. My cry was asked. Some said yeah. My father said no. The ones who refused died. Why are you alive? <laughs> well, okay. That kind of. Uh, I actually don't know. I just woke up with. Oh, that's why you have a moon horse. Yes, she's my companion. But that's not why. I just woke up with blood in my hands, my father's spear in the other, and everyone dead. I stood on their grave. So you blacked out. Mm-hmm. In sorts of ways. I control that part of me, but sometimes the orc comes out. <laughs> what? Nothing. Uh, mm-hmm. this one but what? Just what just happened in Kyonin? Mm-hmm. Everything. Everyone has to be okay. We were sent to Kyonin, but we refused. That's when the slaughtering happened of my people. I have no quarrels with no elves. Mm-hmm. I actually think that your elf was kind of cool and took out a god's eye. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hello, you think we should head towards your homeland and see what's going on? The, monkey the elven monster. god took out the orc's god eye. That's oh, what he's mentioning. Oh shit. I don't know if you knew that part, but that's why Grimish has one eye. Your character oh. knows that though. Yeah, your character would know that. Oh, okay. And he mentioned it. And one thing strikes very odd, he looks like a savage. He is dirty, burned, scars all around. He has bones around his uh, neck. The spear that he has is very shiny. And when you look at it, it's not actually a spear, it's a glaive, which is a very military-ish weapon. Yeah, um, as he has just, he has nothing protecting his chest, but he has plates on his uh, uh, forearms and plates on his hips, his thighs, and his legs. So his chest is wide open. Dang. Um, and then he just has very thick, coarse hair. Do you know how many were sent to Kionin? Was it crazy? Well, my tribe was. We were a good 20. But you just said that you that no, we're it just was one. refused. Yeah, some some accepted for blood. What Others, about you? when my father said no, the rest of the tribes agreed, and uh, that's when we were attacked. Some lizards, some hunting the lizards down. Oh, and then a oh. couple of days later, guess who gets attacked? And guess where I come from? I'm just hunting lizards. I'm just fair warning for you, elf. They're heading there. Do you know if they've reached the city yet? My concerns with the ones here. <laughs> Elrond, I think you should head back. <laughs> you said there. that you weren't the lizard folks weren't the first to get hired for this job. We were. When we said no, they so, were hired. So 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 lizard folks went and attacked the dwarves and the elves. Seems like so. At least they attacked the dwarves first. I don't know about the Where's the lizard folks that you're tra- tracking? There's some that ran this way last night. That's who I'm hunting Did they them. have a monkey? I don't know if they have a monkey. Did you hear monkeys? No, <laughs> I did not hear monkeys. <laughs> Which They're way did they go? And she's like, sorry to lose her patience. Yeah. Well, if you haven't told them going north, so they went that way. 
Well, <laughs> she's gonna start going that way slowly. Mm-hmm. But she's just gonna walk slowly mm-hmm. and like try I'm, to see you, bro. I'm kind of captured. And get the hell away from him. The lizard f- there was they were lizard folk in one of in one of those man eating plants earlier. Yeah. Could those be the ones you're tracking or No, those are the ones I put in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. Good man. <laughs> yeah. Thank so you. you're hunting the lizard folk? For now. What's your end game? Going to bring them in? Or just must slaughter them? Slaughter them. Okay, good. You said they're going to Keonan, right? That's that's where we were sent and we said no. The dwarf city was attacked. It's not hard to put two and two together. Mm-hmm. Are there? Do you think that there's mm-hmm. going to be as many to attack Kionin as there were that attacked the dwarves? I don't know. So I've never fought lizard folk until a couple months ago. So plenty. So plenty more to kill. I'm trying to get sure. on top of I look back <laughs> at KV. I have to warn my people. Yes, Elon. I think you should go back. Me. Uh, I'll still hunt these monkey men, and um, yeah. So go and defend your people, Elrond. Take care of Diana when I'm gone. Yes, for sure. And I turn and I just book it through the woods back to the dwarven city to get a get a horse and. Okay, so you're gonna head you're gonna head out, out that way. Here. Oh yeah. Um, okay. I'm out of here. All right. Okay. Um. Um. Mm-hmm. He just took off toward. I mean, he's he's about to, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. He's gonna. He's going that way. You said. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look at Tally. Like. The lizard folk are headed to Ke- to Keonan. That's where my family is from. I'm going with him, and I'm just gonna go okay. after him. I'm gonna go with him. I'm like, I'm gonna have a slight fine. moment in my mind where I'm gonna go, oh, she's never left me, but cool. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm, I'm just, just gonna like, kind of pat. I'm just gonna pat her like, head. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm fine. nowhere near you. I'm oh, like, wait, I'm oh yeah, now. you're over there. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Do I'm, I have knowledge that her uh, people hate me? No, no, it's not her people. She just doesn't like you for some yeah. reason. Okay, I'm just like her, oh. you. Halflings are the one of the friendliest races out there. They're very welcoming. No, okay. she's even though she, she doesn't like you, she's still like she's, she she's, doesn't trust you. She's just, you don't know that she doesn't like you. She just she's still very friendly yeah. towards you. Mm-hmm. In a very way, polite. I'm gonna look down at her and be like, "Looks like it's oh. us." Before I left, I I, I passed her something. Also, before I left, a I gave you my letter of introduction. I have one. Oh, you're gonna she hands it back to her. Oh, you're in the guild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, hey, what are you doing? The same thing. Okay, you'll be fine then. Okay. Um. Not this isn't here. where I thought we were going to end off, but it is 11 and it is perfect timing. Mm-hmm. Um, as you guys are heading that way, you see Peaches coming down with a scroll and it's glowing. Mm-hmm. She looks at you guys. What are you, hey, where's the rest of the people? Obviously, Kay's that way. I just say, uh, they're back behind us. Keonan's in danger. We're leaving. We have business. Just going with him. Fair, fair enough. I'm and outrunning you. And as oh, I don't think by, so. You, I'm insanely the fast. Orc, unless you're going to talk to him, he's going to just ignore you, you guys, oh, go grab his axe, start shopping the axe that he had. Oh, yeah, I tell, uh, <laughs> talk to him, like, do you know any direction where uh, the lizard man might be at? As I'm tracking yeah, the direction, he's already told. He, he literally just points to the halfling. <laughs> Are you coming with us, orc? Yeah, I'm going to... No. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna look at him and say, "Not crazy. You sure it involves killing things?" Plus, I like your voice. She's gonna like put the. She is very, very sweet. I I, I don't know if you heard me. I don't know if you heard me say. I'm gonna try to get on like on top of the moon. Oh, are you like right now? Yeah. Um, Well, handle animal. As I'm eating an apple. <laughs> Wait, can I Two. try to ride it? Ten. <laughs> Ten. You're getting on the moose, and it just ignores you getting on it, and just starts spinning around, and just the <laughs> momentum kind of, like, drags you down. Like, uh-huh. it wasn't intentional or hurtful. It's just, it's so big that it noticed you were trying to climb on top of it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, the orc looks at you. I'll keep an eye. If you guys encounter something, I'll get behind you. Yeah, if you, uh, if you, if you find it, just cut its head off and give it to me. I need it to for proof that there is monkey men. Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds like a jerk. Oh, wait. Woo! Um, wait, as Peaches comes ally? and sees you guys and sees a half orgy. Excuse me, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's where we're going to end it for right now. Yeah. All right. So you the elves are going to Keonan. Uh, they just discovered a new ally? 
question mark. Right. Uh, and you guys are going to head over to where the lizard folk slash monkey men are. So we just met a shaman orc? No, actually. No? Not a shaman. He's not a shaman? Not a shaman. Mm. What is he? Are we allowed to know? Uh, he gave you huge hints. Is he a barbarian? Because he had that dragon I, wig. I thought he was a barbarian up to the point where he had a moose as a pet. He can't. He says barbarians can't have animals as pets. A Just moose saying. would be hard to handle, though. A moose is very hard to handle. Oh, but he's he a wild a barbarian. The wild kind. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Unfortunately, um, but very fortunate as well for you guys, because you guys are going to be at a con next weekend. I'm going to be in and New York. Oh, yeah, you're going to be in New York. Yes, yeah, right, because your mom booked that ticket. You're going to be at a con. I'll try to stop over uh, Saturday so we say hi at the con. Uh, and tomorrow, you guys are all welcome to come join uh, Black Helix and hang I'm out. I'm not going to I think they go live at 8. But oh, yeah. okay. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we're supposed to be at that con. Thank you for staying here with us and rolling with us. Uh, this episode will be edited and put on YouTube at 5 p.m. next Friday. Um, so you can watch that episode just in case you came late and didn't see the beginning of it and, you know, catch on with the next one. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you so much, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.